recording. Fighting a yark, yikesmar. It's the same thing we were doing last time. We're fighting the fucking big freaking thing. So that has semblance to a Tarask, apparently. So there we go. So you teleported to the city of Velrakaimon, the ancient elven ruins that you guys discovered while taking a contract for Shalcor a few months ago. Um, this is where you found the Well of Worlds. And for whatever reason, he wants it. So, yeah, sure. That's where you are. Go wrap up in the last battle. The guys that are going across the sea to the sea elves. The other guys that are going to the northwest that we saw. None of that. Okay. Sean, it sounds like you would like to do a recap. No, I just <laughs> you guys don't really can't take it up to this level, all right? I maintain this level. <laughs> oh. So what uh, you're saying is... <laughs> <laughs> Let's hit it, boys. All right. So the ice cream already had its turn. Orgrim, you're up. Mm-hmm. I'm done. Gotta figure out what I want to do. What? Not really working. Well, you want to do that last time, Tony, and have one of us uh, stream it for you? What the fuck? Bon, you can get a, you can get the other two up, right? I think I, I can. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm trying to. Well, hopefully you can, and I'm gonna try to smack the fuck out of this thing. I know I definitely can get one up. I don't know if I can get two potions of healing out of my backpack. Um. I mean, you'd have to. Do you have a, Do you have your action surge left? I don't remember if you've used it or not. No, I've used it. Okay. I didn't know if I can interact with object and if they're right beside. Oh we'll crap! Both of them. But I don't think that's the thing. No, because it takes an action to give it to somebody anyway. Well, it doesn't he allow it as a bonus action? Bonus Only action to yourself. To yourself. Action to give oh, it to somebody else. Action to give it. Yeah, then I don't have it. I can't do anything. I can only give it to one person. Who are the two that are down? It's, um... Mart... It's Dracon uh, and Anand. And Anand, yeah. And Dracon is underneath the big dude. Yeah. Inside of a collapsed house. We're just gonna go... Uh, yes. All right, yeah. You got any of your burns to use, or are you uh, tapped out on those? I got burns to use, but I'm gonna do. I gotta do damage in order. Gotcha. Got one more set of burns left. What just did poison damage? My weapon. One of the abilities I have on my weapon. Ah, oh, gotcha. Okay. So there's the f that's the first attack. Here's the second attack. Oh, oh which I miss. You get to make four different damage rolls on attack. Yes. And then last attack. I missed him. Because you got to get above a freaking 21 to hit this bitch. There are dragons with an AC of 24. And again, we're level 12. Yes, Many people at level 12 begin fighting ancient dragons. Yep. You only got eight levels to go. Alright, that's it. Alright. That's all Orgrim can do. So, let's see. Alright, that's a success. However, um... I hate to do this with 
Marte not even here, but... No, I'm going to put the pressure on. He's going to use one of his legendary actions. As you see, his fists rise up into the air and slam down onto Anand. Hey, Two failed you, death saves. Can you release uh, Dracon? Uh, yes. Oh, you got in? Yeah, I got in. Oh, Let's yeah. go. Yeah. That's awesome. I know that had to be frustrating. Yeah. All right. <sighs> Big Pappy, you're up. No, he's not. He's not? stunned. Oh, that's right. He has haste and lost his haste. Yeah. All right. Lucas. I have a question about haste. Okay. If I re haste somebody after they've lost it, do they still lose the turn? Um. I've had it before where I've recast, I had it uncast on somebody, and then I just recast and it went on to two other people, and it didn't break it. Let me look. It says when the spell ends, they um, have a wave of lethar lethargy on there. I mean, technically the spell has ended, but I was just wondering, before they had their turn, if I get it back up, because it's still in that same round, would that count? Yeah, that's the thing. If I if I say yes to that now, I to be consistent, I'd have to say yes to that forever. Um, probably not, no. Hey, Brandon, can you release Dracon? Sorry, Sean. 15, 20, good. There, I can do it. Alright, it's released. We're gonna get, we're gonna get crafty, boys. We're gonna roll out a Shazzy special. But I'm good at Shazzy specials. Alright, let's do this. It's gonna take five feet right there. And, um. It is what it is. I gotta just go. And I'm just gonna free fall off the broom. Okay. And as I hit the ground, I'm gonna twin cast haste on my stuff and on Bond. And I'm out of line of sight for Yathgrimar. So, Bond, just so you know, administering a potion counts as using an item and is one of the things that's covered by your hasted action. Yeah, I gotcha. I figured if he if he if he if he casted haste on me, I was going to be able to do what I wanted to do, which was both give them a potion. Now, the question is, who do I give the superior healing potion and who do I give the regular healing potion? <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. I can get it right over in there, and I'm gonna go ahead and give uh, for my hasted action. Um, I'm going to um, give a potion to uh, Anand. Okay. So Anand's body looks absolutely pulverized, but you give this potion to him, and somehow it manages to slide down his throat, and you notice some bones, you know, snap back into place. His chest is no longer caved in, and he's up and breathing as he takes a sudden gasp and his eyes open. All right, he gets uh, two d four plus two six hit points, and then whatever bonus for being near Brandon's character he was saying. There's some bucket extra healing for around him. Uh, yeah, Brandon. Um, your your battle standard. What does that do to people around you? He's not there. I right think it's a, it's a 30 foot radius. Of and either way, confusing. it's not going to make a yeah, huge difference. It's... So, a nod's back up He's with not... six yeah. set points. Should I? Okay, so Ooh. anybody, oh, they have to be within 10 feet. Is, is the oh, okay. 10 feet. Okay. Yeah. He said 30. A nod's got six set points. That's the takeaway. All right, okay. sweep. 
And I still have my bonus action. Because I couldn't quicken that, I burned through so much fucking meta magic. Well, in fact, I knew that's gone. I didn't mark that. Both my fifth levels are gone. Let's. Bonus action, I'm gonna sack a third level spell slot. My last third level spell slot. And I'm gonna get three meta magic points back. And right. I used 40 feet of movement to get here. So I still have 20 feet of movement left. That's um, right, because you're hasted. Mm hmm. Did you just get a nond up? Yeah, a nond stop. I'm gonna body block a nod. Just stand on top of him. Okay. Is, and does Marte know that we're starting at six? You know, yeah, he responded earlier. Oh, okay. All right. just not He's able probably to make just it doing stuff with the kids. Oh, I'm sure probably. he'll be on. Yeah, eventually. Uh, that's it for Lucas. All right. Um. Yeah. All right. So. Gloves coming off. Um, he's going to use his second legendary action. Hey, Bon, how high in the air are you? I think um probably thirty feet. I'm not nah, I'm not thirty feet. I was like twenty feet. Okay. I forgot honestly, dude. It's been a while. I think you were like forty feet. I think. Yeah. Yeah, but well, this thing's sixty feet tall, so it's gonna use its second legendary action to make an attack against Bond. Uh, he you have a plus two to your AC right now. That's right. Okay. That's right. So let me know if, well, how this does. So making a spike attack. Ooh. Yeah, that still oh. hits. What? Yeah. Um. Hey, even with the plus two. So Big think, Pappy yeah. has, is no longer in lethargy mode since he had his turn. He's gonna flex his shield and it's gonna throw an arcane ward over him. You have to re-roll that. It's a runic shield. I have to re-roll it? That's the way it works. Force a re-roll of attack within 60 feet. He's 45 feet away from Big Pappy. Okay. What was what's your AC with the plus two? It's a uh, eighteen. Can I uh, use a um, luck point on that? You can. Reroll with a luck point? Yeah, I'm gonna do that then. I do not want to be hit by this motherfucker. Oh! Yo! <laughs> what the? What did I get, man? <laughs> oh! Get them out of here. That, that, was, that was pretty clutch. Alright, so what's uh, his, uh... What's, what's his AC? Uh, I think Bond's Bond's AC or this thing's AC. The Bond Bond's eighteen with haste. So, oh, so your natural sixteen. Yeah. Oh, so, so squishy, right? Hold on, that's a low yeah. for a deck space. I don't. That's what it says. Uh, let me look at. Bro, you that's have, not right. You should have at least well, a base of eighteen. Well, that would be if. No, a base of eighteen would be if you had plus one studded and twenty decks. You've got 19 decks, and as far as your armor goes, pretty sure it's just standard studded. Alright, we need to freaking fix that. Okay. <laughs> I'm about to... Not this level, but next level, my decks will be 20. That's okay, don't worry, man. I got you. <laughs> I got you on armor. Don't worry. Yeah. Next All time, right. we, next time we get time, I got your armor. Just come bring it to me, and I'll fix that shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, so, Molly, I think is still in lethargy. So, yeah. Bon, you get your turn while you're still breathing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. All right. So I'm going to interact with object, pull a um, superior healing potion. I'm gonna. Go down, fly underneath the Yikramar, and uh, give that to um, 
He's not under there. <laughs> yeah, he is. To Darkon. He's right there. I'm gonna administer him. that to. Oh yeah, I see him. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna go over Yo, here and it's administer D -R -A, that to R A, not D A R. Okay. Darkon. <laughs> Darkon. <laughs> Darkon. Nope, he's forever to to order Darkon. Darkon. You know, I use I played this game on the PS2 a while ago called Draken. I, dude, is that a gallon of sweet tea? <laughs> yes. <laughs> How much does a mass or uh, superior healing potion give you? Superior, I want to oh, say. Oh, uh, jeez. Uh, no, it's let... greater. Sorry, greater, greater healing potion. Greater. It's a greater. Yeah, it's a uh, forty-four plus, plus four me. of hit points. Superior so, is six. Forty-four plus four. That's a lot of fours. Oh, there's two fours. So that's still a good amount. That's like half um, fours plus four. So he's back up with um, 15. 15. 15. Yeah, 15 hit points. All right. And then um, uh, do I give him another one or do I... Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. If he hits him, it's not gonna matter. It's just you gotta keep yeah. him up. Like, keep if him he up. Hits him, okay. It's not like he's gonna do less than twenty points of damage. You just wanted him conscious. Yeah, yeah. Um, you still got your full action bonus. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna back up. Uh, back up again. I'm gonna move. That was your out. hasted, oh, right? Hold on. Yeah, that was my hasted. So it was 5, 10, 15. I got here, which is 20, 25, 30. So he will, he will take an attack of opportunity uh, if you keep backing up. Bonus action, dis, a hasted bonus action, disengage. Oh. A hasted bonus, just your bonus. Yeah, it's not a hasted bonus. You only get another action. You don't get hasted. Oh, no, you only get another action? Okay, yeah. that's fine. That's fine. Granted, as action, a hasted yeah. action, you can also do that as well. But yeah, yeah. But hasted action gives potion. Uh, okay, so that was 20, 30, <laughs> 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Um, All right, and your then, back's uh, against the wall. Yeah. And then I'm going to uh, just hit him with a shot with the ionizer, I think it is, that I'm using. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Ah, I don't think that hits. Yeah, nope. it's a miss. Do you want to use the luck? I think you still have those, or you just want to let it go? I just let it go. Okay. Uh, should I use the luck? Dude, yeah, I'll use the luck. Yeah, I'll use the luck. You gotta try and put this dude down. Yeah, I'll use the luck. What you want? Okay. Now you're gonna have to make a save. No, 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 you're no, 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 you're right. Sean, Sean, you're right. You're right. You're right. I should use a luck point on this one. Maybe. So I'm going to re-roll this. Just watch. Now you're going to get like, hit with something. You have no luck points to save yourself. Oh, my, oh, my God. God. <laughs> Four. Oh, God. It's okay. We still have Dark on, and then yeah. it's turn, and then my turn. <laughs> and I'm going to try to end it. Yeah. If all three of my attacks hit, I, I should be able to end this damn thing. You know, I was actually hoping you would hit him for other reasons. I'd Dude, I wish I could. I really what? hope. I really hope that I can get. If I can get all three attacks off. Electric? I should be able to kill it. <laughs> oh no, he is a resistant to electric. It wouldn't even hit him because it was because of his scales. Uh, well, no, it's not that. There was another oh. reason why I was. It, so an attack that's specifically in spells, elemental oh, attack okay. rolls with like a elemental weapon. That's different. Yeah. Oh, um, okay. But. All right, and that's the end of my turn. Okay, uh, Dracon. Give me something good. Yeah, cause you're now that I actually prone. fully okay. play his character. Uh, you are prone, as it stands. I don't... I don't need to move. Yeah. Uh... He's gonna swipe at his ankles. 
Actually, I'm not. I'm going to take the attack action as my action. And are you doing then I'm laying gonna... down or are you standing up? It doesn't matter. Cause, uh, so I'm going to continue to lay down because I'm old. And then I'm going to yell at Agram to attack him while I distract him. And I'm going to breathe fire up his belly. Interesting. So, I'm Agram, to think. you can you can make an attack, and um, so are you. So, are you using so your fire a, breath or no? I get an extra you, attack. Yeah, you. Yeah, I'm gonna use my uh, dragon, my uh, fire breath. Yeah, you get an attack. I'm foregoing so, my attack to give you an attack. And you're breathing fire as a like a. How are you doing both of those things? Breath weapon. Yeah, I know that, but isn't aren't they both actions? It's bonus, Not for it's a half bonus. dragon. Oh, your breath is a bonus. Yeah. Okay. So I get so I get an extra attack. This is gonna be great. Yeah. You know what? Um, let me see here. I'm trying to think of what kind of roll to make you do. Where if you do well enough on this roll, I'll give you a bonus to this. Um, for you. For you. Oh, let's see. Give me a. Hmm. No, you know what? I'm just going to give it to you. Um, because of that cooperation, I'm going to say he would have disadvantage on this save. Okay. It's... Um, let's see. Well, does... <laughs> I assume a 7 fails. Um... Yeah. Okay, so that's yeah, a failure. So, I, I missed the attack, but that's okay. I did oh, what I was supposed to do. You're so lame. You're so lame. So it's 4, four D6 and 11 global. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Hey, a points. lot of ones. That's also a 6 in there. That's... Yeah, whatever. Only slightly less than average damage. I'm gonna go back to eating my kim kimbap. Oh, you got a... You got a uh, well, uh, kimbap? Yeah, Korean nice. sushi. A lot of people don't know the difference. Hey, stop messing with his health, Gavin. I was adding the damage. <laughs> Alright, well now it's the Arthur turn. Oh, great. Yo, I'm standing my ground, I'm looking this bitch in the face. Indeed it is, though, <laughs> but he's gonna use his third and final legendary action before he has a turn. Um, since you're body blocking a non like that, um, naturally yeah. his most Yo. sensible target would be you, Lucas. You are magical too. I'm fucking very magical. <laughs> he, <laughs> he does you have disadvantage, magic. so let me roll again. Yeah, get that shit in my face. Mm. Can you beat a 24? Can I beat a 24? Do I have thoughts of those 24? Uh, what is my AC right now? My AC is 18, so no, I can't, but I do have luck points, so I'm going to use a luck point. You can reroll with disadvantage. Why is it with disadvantage? Oh, right, right, right. All right, let's do this again. Uh, and now I can subtle cast shield. <laughs> You sure you want to subtle cast that? Okay. Yep. That's a big ass miss. <laughs> so <laughs> my AC is now 23. Yep, until the start of your next turn. All right. Um, well, really having his sights set on you now, Lucas, as you're standing in between him and Anand. Uh, well, first, I have to roll for the recharge. Let's see if he. Oh, that's a recharge. That's uh, gonna hurt a lot of people. No, it won't. It's only gonna hurt two. Um. So. Oh, made it a cone. That's great. Yeah. So, uh, I don't need to draw this. He's just gonna scream or roar in your direction, Lucas. 
I need you and Anon to make constitution saving throws. Let's play ball, bitches! Well, not going down regardless. Even if he saves, he'll go down. He only has six hit points. Oh, yep. Taro. I was muted. Taro T. I love Taro. Uh, actually, hang on one second. I have advantage on constitution saving throws. What? Do you? Mm -hmm. Why do you have advantage on this? Uh, because of um, my uh, uh, fire regalia. Oh, oh right, yeah, Gavin, yeah. Why are you questioning us? We are the we are the players. You are the dungeon master. We we should be questioning you, not you questioning us. He okay. just has it, okay? <laughs> he just has it. We're not he done yet. It. We're not done yet. That's another luck point, baby. <laughs> we just burned it through these love points like they ain't nothing. This Lucas is down to 25. shine. 25. Get the fuck <laughs> out of my house. 25. Alright, we're halving this. All these dice. Which is admittedly a lot. This is some hot right. witch on witch action, boys. Lucas, now you take 30 points of thunder damage. Okay. And you are not deafened. So you hear a little bit of, you hear a slight ringing in your ears for a second, but eventually you get some clarity. Hang on one second. Oh, what is this? I keep paste up. Paste. Oh, nice. Okay. I was about to say, he's got to do one for haste. All right, well, that's his turn. Orgrim, it's yours again. All right, here we go. Let's uh, see. And we go ahead and mark down um, <laughs> a nod back down to zero hit points. I already did. Okay. Yeah, boy. One attack. God damn it, man. Like five misses in a row, champ. Come on. Oh, second. You attack. only have to roll a ten. Fucking shit, bro. What? G and third attack. All the fucking mess. The dice fucking hate your guts. Mm. I'm sorry, man. Is what it is. All right, you got anything else you can do? No, that's my action and freaking bonus action. All right. Ooh, that's okay. a failure. Big and um, he is going to use one of his legendary actions to make another melee attack against you, Lucas. Let's go, baby. As you stand between him and his prize. Oh, I'm still in this. Come on. 18, get that out of here. Nah, it's 23, baby. <laughs> 23s. Yes, sir. All I'm right. I'm watching goodbye. Hey. Oh. Uh -huh. he, he bashes <laughs> against the shield, and you notice a few cracks form, but it's still holding steady. Hey, you want All to right. make a couple more hits after him before his turn? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Go ahead. So, uh, Marte. Um, yeah. You came very close to death. Uh, he attacked you while you were down once, and uh, you failed two death saving throws, but then they got you back up, but now you're down again. I got you up, and I've just been body blocking you the whole time, man. You yeah, Lucas is down. the reason you're alive. No, I, he is I actively you got trying to down, kill you. But then you got back up again. But now He's you're always good at getting me up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, big pappy. <laughs> so the pattern. I don't have movement speed of twenty-five feet. Does that increase now that I'm like ginormous? Uh, no. <laughs> well, I mean, However, like, your range does increase, and so if you were to take the full twenty-five, you actually would be within melee range. Okay. You could. With your 25, you could actually get here if you wanted to, and that's within range. 
Well, I'll tell you what, let's make it fun. I'm going to do as I did before, and I'm just going to start running on the wall right here. <laughs> so I'm just, just kind of like in this weird parkour, just standing on the side of the wall, and I'll just stop on the side of the wall, just standing sideways. And I'll just go ahead and start taking some swings. All right. Uh, you know what you can do? You know what you can do is, since you're so big, is you can actually take what is called a leap act. Uh, it's a part of your movement where if you move more than 10 feet in a turn, you can leap to your strength score. Oh, man. Well, Big Pappy has never leaped in his life, so we're not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're on a half you space get, right now, you can though, get if you want to take yourself off. You can get, like, an extra five feet. You could call it a skip. He skips. <laughs> from here, he's gonna go. Who are you a... standing on? Because somebody's getting a whiff of something. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. It, it, it has not been a clean day. <laughs> the yogurt is Uh, let's see. Dude, do, do I count as flanking with anybody since he's surrounded? Um, there is nobody directly on the opposite side of him, so no. Ogre would have should have had flanking because he was uh, flanking with Lucas. Oh, well. All right. Oh, yeah. Let's take you know swing. what? We, we passed it, bro. That okay. was like four turns ago. No, that, that wasn't four turns ago. That was like the last turn. How about the end of the thing? Before, anyway? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to let you roll again to see if you would have hit after uh, he does his thing. Does anybody have any Maypoy I can borrow? What's Maypoy? Oh. You need to invest in a bottle Jesus. of Maypoy next time you go to the store. And Dude, what is up with the shit attack rolls? Fuck. Yeah, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna use my bonus action. Uh, and I'm just gonna bang the... Oh, by the way, Gavin, music? I can't... Why oh. is it gotta be on my turn? Why? Why you gotta do this to me? Yeah. Uh, I will listen. have it up ASAP. I can't, I can't do things without my jams. There you go. There you go. I'll use this bonus action to. Um... Oh, oh, oh nice. Yeah. yeah. Bonus that action. He's gonna bang loud. his pan and shield together, and you're gonna see lightning sparks in his eyes mm -hmm. as he activates the storm room. And he's going to give himself advantage on this next attack. Okay. Spanish paradise. Good. Yeah, I think a 29 hits. Yeah, the other one was a nat 1. So he will take this. And a d4. And what is it? Is uh, a d6? Oh gosh, I remember this. I wrote this down last time. I think it was d6. We add four more damage to him. Uh, five, five total. I have received uh, rent. Oh, the, gotcha. One yeah, d four yes. was because he's giant size, and then um, the four is because he does extra damage on his first hit when he hits a guy. Okay. okay. Keep forgetting about adding the d four because of freaking size. Every does time my, I attack. Does my cloak of displacement activate even though I'm laying on the ground? No. <laughs> Why is it not actively displacing me? Yeah. Um, so, uh, Orgrim, since there's yeah. only been one turn since you had a turn, I'm going to let you re-roll your attacks. All right. So here's for the first one. Well. That was an almost hit. What about me? What about you? I want to live. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> you already have a body shield right now, okay? It's not enough. <laughs> I need more. You, you hey, all know. There, Second one that, hits. there you go. Roll damage. So he's going to take some of that. He's going to take some poison damage. And then he's going to take some serration damage. <laughs> Um, excuse me. I just got like. He's gonna take some emotional damage. Nice. <laughs> then for the that last attack, 
Oh, it hits! Yeah, there you go. Alright. Of course you look at Sakura. Y'all are both oh, useless. Here's some poison damage. Here's some of that damage. Here's some of that damage. And then... Because I only have three of these freaking left, not five. He's going to take that. Your final burns. Yeah, I have three burn. I had three burns left. But yeah, that's all the damage. Okay. Damn, he's um, still up. Fuck. You know the Yithgrimar. All of you know that he is actively trying to end a non's life right now. So, uh, why? What have I ever done to him besides he, hitting he with everything? He views you as a traitor to your own kind, as he has made abundantly clear. Um, he's going to use one of his legendary actions to he was attack totally his. my grandfather. To attack his obstacle, so he's going again at Lucas. Let's go, baby. Are you drinking a gallon of tea? <laughs> that's what I said. <laughs> you know that does not, not hit. Good for someone your age, right? <laughs> <laughs> you should you should do better. <laughs> All right, Lucas, you're up. As he slams against your shield again. Yeah. Oh, oh bloody, bloody. I go through about a half a gallon to a gallon a day. Bro. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> this is the South, man. It sweet tea is in our blood, literally. I'm looking, I'm looking forward to the kidney stones in the next hey, five years. What is a dagger attack? That's dexterity, right? Is yes. It is. Is Lucas going to finally melee something for the first time in over a year? Lucas, is, Lucas, Lucas has minimal options on this anti-magic beast. Oh. Oh, so yeah, let's play... You want to play Stabby Stabby? Let's play this game, because I'm going to say fuck this dude and all he's worth. So I'm going to use my interact, and I'm going to pull out of my belt the Drell Dagger. Okay. And I'm going to just jam it right into his face. Or whatever You're making a I melee have. attack. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, okay. So that was a uh, dexterity roll to hit. I'm not sure what to make of this. All right. <laughs> the wizard. <laughs> the wit. Sorry. The wit. <laughs> Trying to stab a giant behemoth. I roll a natural 15. I'm proficient oh. with daggers, so I get to add my proficiency oh. bonus of 4. That makes it 19, and I have a plus 3 in my go. deck, so that makes it 22 to hit. Yep. Yeah, all right. I'm going to say that hits, then. The math maths. Oh. Maths. It maths. So what is math. dagger oh, damage? Math. math. That's a D4. D4. Plus dex. Plus so so those are some do... super okay. stabby daggers right there. <laughs> I like so, math. Five. <laughs> Alright, I'll go ahead and add the five. That would have been hilarious if that was the killing blow. Right. Oh my gosh. Here's where it gets a little bit better. Oh. Wait, hold on. I have to know. Are you using... The letter opener that Nestin gave you as a dagger. <laughs> or no, the cheese knife. Yeah, he gave you a cheese knife. No. <laughs> <laughs> because the drow dagger has two doses of drow poison. Purple worm poison, I should say. Oh, it has purple worm poison in it? It has two doses of purple worm poison. So as soon as I hit, the first round of purple worm poison goes into him. All right, let me make a con save. Yeah, yeah, do that. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! So that is a critical failure on um, his con save. Good. Good. How much, how much time? Oh. I gotta turn you down. How does that feel? <laughs> you are... How does that feel, big boy? Big boy. You, say you have to shut down. <laughs> so you got no offense, just super loud. Purple worm poison is 12d6, so that's 24d6. I'm gonna make it guttural. Oh next, my uh, god! Alright. How would you nine, like nine, to do this? Hey, Gavin, you were saying about uh, this, uh, 
you were saying about I was team? saying. Uh, you were uh, saying? Uh, you were uh, 79 uh, points? <laughs> you were saying, boy. I know you can't see it, but I'm doing the DX. Suck it. Suck oh it. my god! <laughs> 79 points? How say? do you want to do this? Uh, yeah! <laughs> oh, fuck this kid. <laughs> You see, the difference between me and you, you had to become an abomination to be a good witch. I can just use a knife. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's funny. Yes. I will say for my action, I'm just going to flip right around and just and pour another potion into a knot's mouth so he's back up. <sighs> I'm going to retch. <laughs> So, Thank Anand, you. when he pours this poison into your mouth, you see what, this what kind of poison. poison? <laughs> <laughs> or not, I mean, potion. potion. The potion. <laughs> <laughs> the poison. What? <laughs> when, he pours, <laughs> <laughs> when he pours this potion into your mouth, you you come to consciousness, seeing him just body blocking you, and with his dagger, where you where did you stab it? Where on its body did you stab it? What can it even reach? Like a knuckle? Damn. <laughs> his shin uh yeah. you know we'll say he was he was leaning down at the moment of the strike bro i keep swapping between him and her with this thing i love you so much thank you as it retches and says you are all doomed to fail there are more of us there's more. always more. Just like me. There's always more. As he falls to the ground and vomits in front of him from the poison, as you see so, his veins begin to carterize from the a, point of impact. I have a quick question. Okay. How long this thing you said this thing is sixty feet tall, right? It is. How long does it take it to fall sixty feet? Six seconds, right? Yeah. Can I quicken a spell real quick to get the fuck out from underneath it? Sure. I'm gonna quicken spell... Do I have Misty Step? I think I've only got Dimension Door, but I want to get out from underneath this thing. You don't have to quicken Misty Step, it's a bonus action spell. I do not have Misty Step. I do have Misty Step, and I don't have to use spells. I'll you use are a Misty Step. I will Misty Step out, but I will not get up off the ground. I'm just gonna You're Misty still step. laying down. I'm just gonna misty step like right beside on the ground beside Big Pop like Pappy. And Anod, you are back up with except for I'm gonna Anod's gonna be like, <clears throat> Thank you, Poppy. It was Lucas. He's just gonna okay. sit up. And uh. with that, <laughs> the Yith Grimar falls. After the impact, you see the body begin slowly shifting and shrinking down before before you, you see the corpse of something, not an individual that you recognize, but a person that looks a lot like Shalcor. No, before, um, I was going to say, before it's gone, can I run and jump on top of it and start draining it in hopes that I'll get something that'll make me stronger? You can... Uh, you're you're on the ground, man. Like he, you, he potions me. I'm like, up. In this like in this very moment, you just just got back up. Isn't it like I, I want to drink it? Uh, um, you you I, would I, know personally that you can't get sustenance from another Vold. You would know, know that. I know that, but like something made him that big and chunky. <laughs> I want to be big and chunky, powerful too. And if I have to drink him, I will drink him. D just wait. <laughs> so he collapses to the ground, and as you see his body begin to shrink down, you, you see the corpse of someone that looks a lot like Shalcor, that has features of both primal and awakened. Yes. However, this individual is even a little bit bigger than Shalcor. His features even a little more menacing. It's more like a primal with awakened features than it is an nice. awakened with primal features. Okay. But sounds groovy. Um, inside of his torso, you I'm... notice this glowing white gem. My wedding ring. And it seems to be embedded into his chest. 
Well, you don't want to take it? I can identify it right quick. You don't want to take a moment. Yeah, we'll gra I'll grab it. If I if I can. <laughs> you try to grab it. It, it. It's in there. I'm going to cut it out of them. I'll tell you like, what. While they're doing that, just... I'm just going to hold my hand out. <clears throat> and it takes a minute to cast it, but I, I've got it prepped. I'll cast identify on what that is. Okay, so you, with using your pike, Orgrim, you carve this out of his chest, and it's it messy. Uh, would anybody care to make a history check for well, yeah. me? I, I guess yes. identified, is that not... Would I get advantage on this history check? Your identify reveals that it's some sort of mana crystal, but it's not like anything you've ever seen before. Fair enough. No, okay. not advantage, this I is just a straight... Like a magic item or something. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I got an 11. Okay, uh, Can I use yeah. the lifeline? <laughs> no. So no. with your 11, it's, uh, it's it's on the tip of your tongue. You've heard of things like this before, but this is, you know this is a form of mana crystal that hasn't been seen in okay. over a century. Well over a century. And yeah, I'm wrapping it in a cloth, and then I'm just gonna kinda... Hey, <clears throat> yes, uh, so, since Dracon has a history with Vold, can I have advantage on this check? No, no For... come on. Whoa, hold now. That's why I asked. If you give him the advantage, I should get advantage. Yeah, but you no, haven't been fighting he's... Vold your whole life. He, he's been involved with the Vold and the history of the Vold the, his entire life. That is his thing. Yeah, I'll say you could. Okay, Joe. That's a, an 18. Can I have so... a disadvantage? Because I have no idea about Vold before I met a nod. <laughs> Um, I will say, Dracon, this is very interesting, but very troubling. Um, you've heard of, in the ruin, back the elves of old, and their, empire, and their empire was at the height of its power. They'd developed a new means of fueling magical technology, a new means of storing high amounts of mana in a compressed form. But nobody ever since the fall of Invalion has been able to replicate that. Um, you recognize this to be the very same mana crystal. The same mana crystal that the entire empire of Invalion became famous for. In fact, the whole process that created the Vold was them trying to make something even better than this and toying with mana in a way that was unnatural and was not intended by nature but this was the strongest sort of mana crystal that was in existence before they ever attempted those experiments okay. yeah i'm still wrapping it in a cloth and throwing it in my bag no so this Jaithkumar was not a person. It was just a another bold, but 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 then a bold. What do you mean? I thought no, it was, it was a, a person. person. It was a person like Shalcor. An, an awaken that was evolved into a monster. Have you, well, did, you put the, did you make the item so I can put it in my inventory? Uh, no, just call it strange mana crystal. Invalion mana crystal. Yeah, I think it's the one. Yeah, that, that works. Invalion mana crystal. Well, did this person thing, whatever, have any items or anything, or is it just all. Organic? Uh, they are buck ass naked. Okay. That, I, I typed the spelling in in case you need it, Brandon. I'm just okay, saying that right. in most video games, bucks still have, like, gold on them, whatever. Oh, well, yeah, where are they keeping it? Doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, so now the floor is yours, as this corpse of this unidentified vold of a type you haven't seen before lays before you. Uh, just real quick, this is the whole thing. Is there anything that I think might be worth potion components out of this thing? Well, you know Vold in general are always useful for potion components. Their spikes are highly prized and they're very rare. Um, their blood, for starters, especially of primals. Well, exclusively of primals, really, because the I mean, Awakened Vold isn't all that different. That like, was all about anything Vold that we could bring back to him. So, yeah, okay. 
I don't know if there's anything in particular with this thing. I, I really want the, the anti-magicness that he had. If I could turn that into some kind of a person. Mm -hmm. You imagine you might be able to do it with their blood? Um, as well what as this thing scales? still has some scales and hide yeah. that is indicative of his previous form. Alright, uh, while we do this, because I know a lot of us are fucked up, at the very least short rest, if not long rest... Uh, too soon for a long rest, but you can take a short rest. Bruh, what are you talking about? But, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take some... Yeah, I got yeah, from our blood and scales, I guess. You gonna dig the spikes out of its arm, or no? I don't know how much you guys want to harvest this. I just want to make some potions. If y'all want to just, like, get some bits of this to make money off of, by all means, I, I just want to be able to make all potions. Yeah, I'll go ahead and harvest part, the har harvest okay. everything that he doesn't. Okay. So, um, the spikes have already withdrawn back into its wrists, but you know, you know where to cut. Um... Yeah. You, maybe not to the degree of Dracon, but you've tangled with Vold before. Yep. Um, so you're able to cut into its forearms and pull out these spikes that it uses for harvesting. So you can add to your inventory um, two Vold spikes. Uh, how many? As well as you notice oh, that sorry. behind each of the spikes appears to be some sort of gland. And inside of these glands, you recognize it's this very, like calcium rich material that is enchanted by magic you imagine that's what they use to produce new spikes after the previous ones have been ejected all right i'm gonna keep the glands too i'm gonna try to keep them intact all right add two vold spike Hi. glands and how many component parts of yithgramar blood do i get i'll say four is that giant and I get four parts? He's not giant anymore. Uh, but fair. you bring up a valid point. Um, give me a survival check. I think you're proficient in those, right? Yeah, I am. Uh, Twelve. Alright, I'll say you get six of them. Okay. Six CP of Yithgrimar blood. Yithgrimar. Ramar. Right. Uh, I put that with my sixth Vold Uvila. Oh, that's right, we also have the dead Vold that are in here. That killed everything. Yeah, you've got other Vold. Yeah, I'm just gonna go around and, you know, harvest freaking spikes. Alright, there were three other primals, so you can get six more spikes. Six more glands? Yeah, but um, separate these, because the ones you just got are better than the other Vold, so um, just call the call it six primal spikes and six primal spike glands. Hey, Kevin, can you uh, give uh, uh, Molly to Kelly? Yes. How about I just call the other one Garth, Garth from our freaking spikes? Whatever you want to do, as long as you can tell the difference. And if we're only taking a short rest, it's, I think it's 1d4 plus 1, so if we take a short rest, uh, Big Pappy will still be lowered for another 3 hours. What are those d4s you guys are rolling? I'm rolling a uh, health potion, I just drank a health potion. Oh, One. okay. I'm and I'm about to roll some hit dice. Big Pappy's how okay. long he stays giant. How long? <laughs> 3 more hours. Oh. Yeah, that's 1d4 okay. plus 1, so if we're doing an hour-long short rest, so then after the yeah. short rest, it's still another 3 hours. But it does go down to uh, so one size shit. smaller. Now so he's medium size now. Or large form. size, I mean. Yeah. I actually just got it to where I came. You... Okay. So we, we short resting? I assume so, if you guys want to roll some hit dice. How many hit dice are we allowed to roll? Up to half your maximum for every hour of rest that you take. No, I'm just going to roll this. So before I take my short rest, I'm actually going to use my uh, second wind first. Okay. And so that way I get it back at my short rest too. So that's nine. 
Don't forget to do the same thing, uh, Vaughn. Use your second I already win. used mine. Uh, I already used mine. Vaughn, you, you took a... Who's taking health potions? I took one. I'm taking it near, um... Uh, Orgrim. Okay, you take an extra... Health. You get an extra six. Extra six points? Okay. Yep. going to sleep. So I have more health potions to give around if people want to have them on them. <clears throat> I have six potions of healing. Oh, Anon, you get an additional. Oh, Anon gets an additional eight because he was forced oh. to take a healing potion. Yes. He wasn't ten feet in front of her. Did we roll how much health he got feet. back from that healing potion? That you poured in his mouth. It was something about yeah. thirty. Yeah, it was like thir um, four or six. I rolled it. In ten feet. We'll say six, that's fine. Yeah, plus eight. Oh, oh, as we get eight oh this is the first time I get to use my, my thing to do the thing. Love vial. How many I get? Oh, God. When you roll any hit dice to recover hit points while you're carrying the blood vial, you get five sorcery points. Yeah. That's helpful. And with my arcane recovery, I get one spell slot back. <laughs> yeah. 42. I'm officially at half hit points. Alright, I'm sorry, I'm back. Well, you, you got go. an additional hit points back. We level up, right? right? Wow, that was a lot of talking at once. What? <laughs> you got an additional eight more because you were around me within 30 feet. What are you talking about? Is any, if anybody takes healing from a potion or magical use, they get an additional mm -hmm. D8 of healing being 30 feet around within 30 feet of me. Oh, I didn't even know how much healing I got. Because what did I get? Weapons. You got six points. How is it that Molly, who is our main tank, so how much more does he get? Entire fight? He got an additional eight, eight from me. We leveled okay. up, right? Uh, you did. You all level up. Sweet. Now I have access. Does that that ding constant uh, give me all my HP back? <laughs> no, no, it doesn't work that way. Oh man! <laughs> I'm just picturing the big drum from World of Warcraft. The <laughs> yes. Oh, look at that! Another feature added to my thing. Wow. What level are we now? Thirteen. Thirteen. Lucky number 13. You guys are now at the level that Campaign 1 started at. Y'all started at level 13? Yep. Weirdos. Oh, so are we level 13 now? Yes. Uh-huh. You just took a short rest. I said next short or long rest, yeah. you'd level up. So Dude, I took a level up in mid-session. Can you ding me? Bitch, what the I, I, I'm going to ding the hell out of you. Please oh, do. Yeah, do the thing. Invasion. So, like, just pretend I'm a bell and ding -a -ling. So, Gavin. Yes. My next thing is, my thing is, like, you learn how to build, but you also know how to destroy. Starting at 13th level, your weapon attacks deal maximum damage to objects and additional 1d8 damage to constructs. Nice. <laughs> I'm gonna start blowing down doors. So, um, for all of our, well, I guess that would just apply to you, Anon. For all of our full casters who have not multiclassed, you now have access to 7th level spells. And Anon, you can pick two spells. Yeah. I can pick two spellages. One of them being a 7th level spell. Or two mm. of them being a 7th level spell. I mean, yeah, whatever I'm feeling in my, uh, in my wee little body. In your loins. Are you sure it's 13 we get 7th level spells at? Uh, it is. Then why aren't mine showing? Every other level rounded down, you get ah, a new... This is what I get for oh my god, what the hell are they Four doing? Forcers only get one extra spell per level, right? I only... Uh, I, I still only have the option of level 6. I don't have a level se uh, 7 slot. I'll, I'll fix it for you. Poor favor. Well, if you would go ahead and increase mine and Big Pappy's as well. Yeah. Um, let me... 
Done. Do a thing for him real quick. Because our proficiency bonus also goes up. Mm. Four, three, 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 two, one, one. Who the fuck is in my place? There you go. You now have a seventh level slot. Okay, and big the papster he gets another level in fighter critical i was never doing that with all those crits we had it like brought me up to 265 on my king another level in sorcerer for you lucas that is unless you want to take another level in wizard no i'm good there you go i'm already level mine oh wait so I believe you just got access to six level spells now, Lucas. I have it level two. Is it time? Right, and Papa says oh, if you I know it, what you're you doing. Uh, <laughs> you told me to do what? If you pull on your uh, your beard too much, it's gonna fall out. Hey, hey Sean, you rubbing that doesn't make you smarter. Hey, Sean. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming. Yeah, do you have your little metal cage? Nope. Even Even Let's just say he has now gained the ability on a small scale to do something that a Marvel villain is known for. So I'm not as bad. Let's see what Find the path? <laughs> my stealth my stealth slide of hand I'll go up to a plus fourteen. Yeah. Oh, and I you just you just got evasion now. Uh, I do. Don't worry about that, I gotta go through it. Nice. I can't wait till we level up again, because then I'm going to pick up uh, uh, the piercer feet. That'll be good. I'm, I'm also happy just that we got a 7th level okay. spell slot, because I just needed the 7th level spell slot. I used a lot of magic in that last fight. I'll be right back, guys. All right. What Marvel villain are you talking about? got to reveal itself when the time comes. Super. Is it a six level spell or seven? Well, I can't even do six level spells. I just got access, or I can't even do seventh level spells. I just got access to six. Six. Okay. I'm like trying to go through. I'm my... gonna take two level seven seventh level spells. Are you? Because I see very situational things that I like a lot. What, what are you taking? I'm gonna get. Uh, oh, let me go back to it and I'll tell you. I want. Plane shift, and I want reverse gravity. Oh, those are both very useful. I know. Because there's no saving throw for the gravity to be reversed. You can make a deck save when I stop it to try to grab something, but no matter how big you are, you go up. So I could have sent old Yagi up in the air. Unless there's something else I find that I just have to have, but so far those are pretty groovy. Is Cloud Kill flammable? That's a weird question. <laughs> uh, not unless it says it is. Ooh, oh, Finger of I'll Death. I like Finger of Death. Oh, that was a good one. I feel like I didn't get a lot of success on Finger of Death. You did. You just didn't use it very often because you were always... It was an all or nothing. And I was like, I can't do that. Is Finger of Death all or nothing? Oh, no. Hey, you you take half the damage. I thought the Center Great was all or nothing. I thought oh, Finger of Death mind. still does a little bit of damage. Yes, Finger of Death does half the damage even if you don't do it. Yeah. Get through. Unless, unless my is boss is just circling the drain. I'm not saying I never will, but I'm unlikely to use a legendary resistance against damage unless they're close to death. Yeah, like on that critical for the uh, for the worm poison. Which 
covers the stipulation of them being close to death. You know, I never thought I'd get to use it like that, but I'm glad I did. Yeah, that's pretty sick. It's a very David versus the Goliath moment there. <laughs> And to be honest with you, I only had one legendary resistance left with him. Um, it would have saved him. Yeah. Or it was just a really cool narrative moment, so just let it happen. It, exactly. Hey, give me jams, Gavin. Uh, I will give you such jams. Alright, and what are we... Are we Are we still figuring out our level ups and stuff? Oh, I'm not... No, you gotta roll some hit dice, man. You're making me nervous looking at your 81 hit point. 81 well, we took a we took a short rest, so I could get everything back with yeah, the healing that y'all gave me. So I might as well just. I don't I don't like seeing you with only 20 hit points. It makes me nervous. Well, you can only use up to half your maximum rounded up. So you technically, when you started the short rest, you were only level 12. So you can use six. Uh, you can roll six hit dice to recover hit points. What uh, uh, y'all healed me for eight points total, right? I no, think he, I've one gave me eight, added and one it. gave me six. Oh, so eighty-one. Yeah, yeah is what that, I was? that is that's because you were at ninety-five. You got healed for six down to eighty-nine, then took eight more. Okay, well I did six. Yep, so that <laughs> got rid of eighteen wounds. That's depressing. <laughs> If you want to rest for another hour, you can use the remainder of your hit dice. I would like to rest for another hour, because I'm hoiting. You guys want to? You guys want to rest for another hour? So you can use all your hit dice? I'm, I'm good. Can, okay. can, I, can I just throw them on top of my back, and then we can do... If we need to move forward, I can just toss them on my back and we can sleep. That is very kind of you. Like yeah, you can only benefit from one, from one long rest every sixteen hours, so that you get health back in a twenty-four hour period. That was a one. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to the group as we're we're resting. So, also, I mentioned it before, oh. but I just want to make sure. Does anyone oh, need a potion of healing? Like, I have some. I've got three. But just want to make sure that everybody has some. Yeah. I still have some. I just haven't used them. Oh. So, if I may. Yeah, have your RP moment. I, having fought that monster, I can't say level up because it's, uh, Meta ish. <laughs> I just leveled up. Having fought that monster, I've had an epiphany. I've been able to search deeper into my graviturgy, and I want to be useful to the group. So I'm going to vocalize and see what you all think about this. Would you all rather me be able to take us anywhere we've ever been at a moment's notice without having to draw any circles or use them? Or would you rather be able to go in and out of varying dimensions? Dimensions. Yeah. You do know that you need a you need the proper tuning fork to be able to go to a specific dimension with that spell. It is not an all access pass to the universe. It is, and it will be. <laughs> <laughs> By the time it gets to level twenty, Anon's gonna have a, just a staff with a million tuning forks on it. <laughs> Just bolted through it, yeah. It's gonna look like a Christmas tree. <laughs> I mean, where, if you get so one, we can if always I may find ask, a troll where the does it say that we need a tuning fork? It's in the in material the components. And Gavin there, not there's only a verbal that. component for teleport. There is no material. Oh, component. I'm talking about plane shift. Yeah, I was talking about tele. Oh, okay. Let plane me go shift. to plane shift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It, uh, a forked. I'd Metal want. rod worth at least two fifty attuned to a particular plane of existence. Well, let me get to where I want to go. <laughs> you have we, a tuning fork. 
We've talked about the narrative reasons for why so that can't go happen too early. It. I'm gonna yeah, take you it. You have a tuning fork, don't you? That's where I need to go. So, so sometimes, go, the first from various go. magic shops, you can find tuning forks that have already been attuned to a certain plane. Or, if you are to visit the plane by some other means, you can take one with you and attune it while you are there. So you can make Very a return nice. trip. Why do I have level 9 still? Woo Wowzers. All if right. you don't get one, we could always help you get the other later. So it doesn't really matter. I you know what? I'll even I'll even throw you a bone, um, Marte. When you mm -hmm. are on your escapades with one uh, Milo Tenderfoot, uh, you indeed were granted a tuning fork that takes you to Sigil in the plane of the Outlands. Cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm... Can I, did I um, by chance have a tuning fork in my pocket when we raided that vault? <laughs> 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 Which vault? <laughs> The one where I got my shield. Oh, yeah, so that's that's only the planes of existence. That is not a separate plane of existence. Yeah, you can't, and magic it doesn't work in there. Magic, separate plane of magic only temporarily worked, in, temporarily worked in there because we were not on this plane. Uh, and because you haven't said so. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, technically we are on a different plane of existence. Yeah. You were so in a pocket dimension. If you yeah. want to go back to that pocket dimension where there's nothing, by all means. <laughs> wow, <I'm so> <laughs> if we get a, a tuning fork to go to Hades, which is where I need to go, I'm, I'm all for playing ship, but until then, I got n no need for playing ship. Well, I have it now. It's already locked in. I'm deciding on my other one. I already have a level 9 spell. I can't use it. I already have a level 8 spell. I can't use I it. I have a question. Vold are considered large creatures, right? That is correct. Dang, so I can't use, uh, what is that? I'm heavy. Dance macabre on them? Um, because it's small and medium creatures? I'm pretty sure dance macabre also specifies humanoids and primals are aberrations. Uh, it says corpses. Oh, okay. All right. Well, the floor is you guys. Is people still looking over level ups? Yeah, I'm good. I'm, good to go. I'm ready. I'll eventually find a spell that fits me. That suits his needs. What I get? You get to do more damage on criticals, which I totally forgot you do, because you critted all over the place in the last fight, and you should have been doing extra damage, and I forgot about it. That's okay. Can I use Simulacrum and make a big pappy? Yeah. No, Simulacrum. I, I thought Simulacrum only does it. So, oh, you can do it on other people. That's right. There is a thing in your um, actions tab. Uh, so, Sean, if you go over to Kelly's thing, if you go up to weapons, there's a magnifying glass at the top right. You can click on that magnifying glass to bring up the critical table. So you can lower her critical range down if she crits on 19s, or an extra crit dice you can put on there too. So if she does an extra crit dice, you can add one. And it'll automatically roll an extra one. Hey, Ga Gavin, guess what else happens? I get another d6 to my sneak attack. Sweet. You know how to add that? Nice. You need me to do that for you. I um, think I'm working on that right now. I think I got a coup and do a little, little bit of it. Yep, I got it. I cool. didn't for some reason. Well, it doesn't. Say, but... uh, we came here to go to the World Worlds. Unless we just let's go here for the next uh, three quarters of a day. Let's let's go hit the World of Worlds. Move out. DM, we are moving towards the middle world. Jesus. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> so, you head towards the temple, and you have been there before, and unlike the last time, the temple is 
completely empty. There is nothing living in this temple, as you took care of that last time. Um, however, after a decent trek through this temple, you again find yourself in the same room. Find or at the edge of the same room, finding the same guardians standing watch. They are currently inanimate, but by experience last time, you know that they likely do not stay that way if you were to enter. So does it look like, uh, what's-his-face, uh, Shalakor or whatever has been in here at all? Anything's been changed, messed with, tinkered with since we were here <sighs> last time? It looks like you foiled his attempt to enter. Because, it, no, everything seems undisturbed. I wonder how the I wonder how that big guy would have done against all of these big beasts. Should we have let him come in here, let him fight him, and then just swoop up and and come in and after him and just destroy whatever was left? Nah, man. I, whatever is going to happen, he knew what he was coming to get into, probably. And I don't. Yeah, true. Those things seem to be very anti magic, and like him, a battle of physicality, he would have dominated. And I really don't want him any closer to Well of Worlds than yeah. he is. Because apparently yeah, getting gotcha. into simultaneous things of ley lines increases their power, so who knows what that dude would have been able to hulk out into. Alright, uh <clears throat> so <clears throat> here's what I can what I can bring to the table. Uh because when we go in there we know they're gonna want to fight. I'm almost a bit tapped out of magic, but if we want, I could turn a couple people into some T-Rexes and let them go charge in. <laughs> Just get marching um, down on some contracts. Or are they constructs? Yeah, they are constructs. Oh, uh, that's perfect for um, what he just leveled up on, too. I don't think you need what, to uh, or, or, yeah. Or, uh, Orgum just leveled up in two because he does more damage to the contracts. This is the. Oh, you actually have the map up? Holy shit. Uh, and I think Big Pappy will. It'll be alright. I should be fine. I'm pretty much fully healed. Except six points, I think. Where are these constructs? Yeah, six points. I'm uh, I'm placing them now. Do you think we could probably take these guys before we really couldn't? But now we should be able to take them. I mean, I'm hey, how can I, how can I tell which things can be cast as a ritual on here? I never see a ritual. It literally here. says ritual on the spell. It should, it should. If you click on the spell, it should say ritual cast. Let me. You have check. to click into the spell. You got to click the red dragon. And then it should tell you if it's a ritual All right, or not. Let me go to teleportation circle, which I know is a ritual. It should say up at the top if it's a ritual or not. Uh, nope. So yeah. are we talking about going into this? To, yeah, the guys are constructs. I don't see it. Um, to be honest with you, as the alarm. DM, I wasn't expecting you guys to do this this session, but feel free if oh. you want to. So, um, so Marte, look at the top where yeah. it says level one aberration, and then right under in quotes or parentheses, it should say ritual. Because I just look at the alarm spell, and at the top where the underneath alarm underneath spell it says level one aberration ritual. All right. Like I know for a fact, you know, teleportation circle is a ritual. It says level five conjuration, and there's nothing beside it. It's not a ritual. L teleportation circle is a ritual. So, like, I'll find a spell that I know is a ritual, and I'll show you what it looks like whenever it is. Um, yeah. Somebody, alarm, somebody, give me a. Alarm, I think ceremony level is one. a ritual. Alarm level like, one. Um, identify ritual, ritual. Detect magic ritual. Teleportation circle ritual. So you see up there where, like in ceremony, where it says level one abjuration. I see it ritual. says ritual at the top. So does that mean I drag a bogus version of my spell into my spell book? What do you mean? I'll... That it like a, a one that's not. No, because I okay, will. no, because listen. Okay. Teleportation circle already takes a minute to cast. 
So it doesn't matter if it's listed as a ritual or not. It's just a ritual caster cannot cast teleportation. Well, the reason I ask is because, like, if it's not prepped, I can still cast it as a ritual. It's uh, not a ritual I'm spell. Like, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm used to D&D &D Beyond. It's not helping me here. Like, I want to see all my ritual spells so I can know which one. I don't, like, if I'm never, I'm only going to use that when I have time. So I don't need to have it prepared. It needs to be in the background and I use it when I want to as a ritual. I do not think Teleportation Circle is a ritual spell. It is. I promise you it is. Like, I promise, promise. Mm, 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 so mm, I will turn mm. the beyond right now. Please do. Teleportation circle is not a ritual. It spell. is a ritual spell. It, it, I mean, it's <laughs> it not a ritual is. spell. It's not is, a ritual it, spell. It's not. It is. It's not. It is. It is. It's not a ritual. It's I tell a ritual you, it's spell. It that it's ritual. so that way people right. like you can't use it the way that you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Jeremy Crawford literally made a tweet in 2017, and he said, "Fuck Marte Swanson." <laughs> I'm sure there's. I, I remember reading that tweet. That exact I was, same yeah, tweet. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was very confused. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Who's, who's Marte?" <laughs> I hate you all. <laughs> so much. Somebody please Photoshop that tweet for me, please. I need yeah. that would that would actually be a really quality to have that done. <laughs> yeah. In twenty, you said in twenty eighteen, in twenty twenty three, I'm gonna say fuck you, Marquez. Yes. Oh. Oh. Let's see. I'm gonna start casting some spells here, folks. Where are we at? Oh yeah, I'm. Are I'm we like I'm all right, yeah, we'll go. All my... Hey, hold up. Are we doing? I figured you guys would be too roughed up no, for this fight, going. this uh, this session. Okay. We going. So here's oh, who's all getting cast into a oh. T Rex. Yo, yo, oh. yo, just hold up. So remember, these things have some kind of true sight because they could see through me and Marte's or sorry, me and Anod's cloaks before. So don't get mm -hmm. up there. It's gonna smack you. They can mm -hmm. the distance because they got a little rocket fist. Uh, it really seemed like physical attacks was the best way to go. So here's my thought. Uh, instead of doing T-Rexes, unless we just want to throw some T-Rex in there for... I don't know how much magic you got, Marte, but, uh, Marte and I, but I don't have much. I can either get two of you guys to be T-Rexes, or I can get two people hasted. I would prefer to be hasted. Oh yeah, I used my I short rest, so I didn't even... Uh, need can to I cast spells about. as a T-Rex? No. No. Then I do not want to be a T-Rex. <laughs> that, that would be cool, but no. <laughs> what about a Spinosaurus? Can like, you, you could be a... A Zenicodebra! Almost made me spit out my beer. I would prefer to be hasted. If, <laughs> if you see yeah. that... Yeah, but you don't hit anything. Yes. <laughs> oh, if you make me oh, hasted, if you make me hasted, <laughs> I can use, my, use the haste action as my... Um, Combat maneuvers. I, I don't. Y'all tell me. I'm I'm gonna haste the barbarian. I'll tell you that. Yeah, barbarian must be hasted at all yeah, costs. Oh, definitely. <sighs> but, oh, oh, what about just uh, haste? Who would be both just people? haste, big big pappy, and uh, um, Jesus, Molly, Molly. Jesus. Yes. Molly. And but Jesus. please don't yes. haste the Lord. Don't person. haste the Lord. <laughs> He moves at his own pace. Uh, I can't leave y'all. <laughs> Sorry. I'm here. I'll tell you what. I'm going to throw it on Molly and or Orgrim. Big Pappy's already going to be big. He's I have not got the chance to use Legend Lore at all. Yeah, you have. No one cares. It's been a while. You've used it once. It's been a while. You use it twice. <coughs> back to back. By the way, Big Pappy is still big. Okay. My level nine spell is ready to pop off. Right. Well, you know, once I can use it, that is. Are we going? Because I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Uh -huh. I'm waiting for you guys to give me the signal. Can I? You know what you guys should definitely do? Try attacking it from outside of the room. That's what you should do. Oh yeah. Hey, when I do my short rest, I can only get um, five levels worth of spells back on a short rest, right? Uh, depends on 
How high is this where you're at with your arcane recovery? Um, mm -hmm. Let's see what my arcane recovery says. If you're fourth level wizard, you can recover up to two levels worth of spells. You can not recover to Okay, up to That's half all. your wizard level. And none of those slots can be level. six level or higher. So Half of my le wizard level is six, right? Because yes. I'm 13. All right, but I can't well, do my level six you, spell. You would have gotten it when you were still level 12. Technically, um, if you were to do it again now, it would have been um, seven. But... You were still level 12 when it, take, it came into effect, so it's 6. Okay, so let's go. Huh? Oh, okay. You have no idea what you just said. Twin kids taste to go. Oh. Go murder. Everybody roll, everybody roll go initiative murder. for me. I heard it was like, 20 guys said no. I'm like, who? The 20 uh, guys said so no. <laughs> you can move up to your movements. Okay, so I'm going to place you all in a particular spot. All right, you can move up to your movement speed from where I put you before combat starts. Uh, let's see. That, uh, you have advantage. Roll again. Pin 15. Yeah. Dude, it looks like a... How high is the ceiling? About 60 feet. What, the debt ceiling? It's pretty high, buddy. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Enormous. <laughs> Whatever, you know, okay, I got 40 movement speed. Where do y'all want me to go? Oh, uh, Jesus, man. Hey, yeah, wasn't this the room, room that I dimension doored out of speed last speed. time? Yes. Yeah. I remember this Wait, crap, you room. You are hasted. You have more than 40 movement speed. Oh. Shit. Mm. Wait, so... Maybe I should haste you, after all. So, Orgrim and Molly got the haste? Orgrim and Molly. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go play with this fucker. Uh, that's what she says. Uh, ah. Yeah, I'm gonna go play with this motherfucker. <laughs> Anand, <laughs> Dracon, and Orgrim. Yes, man. We're, we're all charging up to the right. All right, then I'm just gonna go. By the way, I just wanted to add that I hope everyone is getting their fill of combat because after this session, uh, there will be a long stretch without any. Balls. Ew. So what, what, you like want us to RP? role play? I don't like the RP. Thank you very much. I'm sorry, now. You just yell at people. <laughs> hey, I still need initiative rolls from Anand, Dracon, and Orgrim. Oh yeah, okay. Dracon is hey, forty-five minutes of talking about doing this. Thing. His this name is Jackon, not Dracon. Nineteen, baby. I'm back. Nice. Dracon, I care. Dang, a lot of people go before their first turn, and they all go go in pairs. I don't like that, but that's what the dice command. So. Dice All right. Smish. So let I'm gonna us... be over here beside the Papinator, giving out those Pap schmears. Uh, yes. Where am I? Uh, I can be wherever I uh, within thirty feet. Up to feet. your movement speed from where I placed you. Uh, you didn't place me anywhere. Uh, I was yeah, still I right here. Oh. Yeah. Uh, okay. So from right there, up to your movement speed from right there. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and go uh, 30 feet up into the air. Straight up in the air. Okay. Yeah, boots are yes. They flying they boots. Up there, they have rocket fists. Do they really? Oh yeah, yeah I remember right. that yeah. crap. That yeah, was dumb. I go, well, we're stronger said, now. I listened when I was like, no, guys. Not at all. They can also nope. see through illusions because <laughs> yeah. our folks didn't do any good, and they had rocket fists, so they were punching people out of the air. Can they fly? Oh, fly back down. No, have you have not seen them fly, but they do again have have rocket fists. Yeah, but I have my burns back, by the way. Sweet. These so are rest, contracts. Baby. <laughs> These are contracts. Oh, and they're I contracts. Have all my grip points. I have so my grip points. We get till ten o'clock. Can we please just go? And just start go. Talking about all our right, all right. Dracon. All right. Being the first to go, I will twin cast shatter. Okay. And I'm casting it on. Guardian 3 and Guardian 4. Guardian 3 and 4. And I'm up casting it to level 4. Does it have some kind of special effect against constructs? Yes, they rolled with disadvantage. 
Okay, it's a what? Con save? Constitution save. How tall is the ceiling? You said 100 feet? 60. Oh. Um, well... Oh my so god. So that's... DC. So that's a nat 1 from Guardian 3, so that's critical damage. Um, okay. However, Guardian 4 rolled that. That's with this disadvantage? That's with disadvantage, yes. Okay, so Guardian 4 takes 15 points of thunder damage. And then 60 points of thunder damage for Guardian 3. Damn. So you notice that this, like, arcane shield that Guardian 3 had just completely shatters as it... You notice that it, the stone of its body just begins to crack. Guardian um, 4, also, however... It says a non-magical object that isn't being worn or carried also takes damage, so... They just get destroyed because they're not being worn or They go carried. crunch. Yeah. Uh, well, they're also a magical object. So. Oh. Yeah. However, uh, Guardian Four doesn't seem that damaged, but you absolutely shattered its shield. All right. Okay. Anything else you got? Nope. Got anything you want to quicken? Uh, want to use any movement? I don't think I can quicken anything. Can I? Cantrip. Uh, no, because that's going to take me most of my meta magic just to do that. Because okay, so if I upcast with meta magic twin, I need to upcast the twin, right? So if that's a second level spell, it turns into a fourth because I upcast the fourth. Uh, so like, let's say you upcast at a second level spell to fourth level, mm -hmm. then yeah, for the twin, it would cost still cost four sorcery points. Okay. It's equal to the spell slot used. Sus. Okay. Then, yeah, I will not uh, quicken any spells. I will, however, activate my rally and uh, for my bonus action and give a D8 of, what is that, 6 plus 3? 4. Eight. So 10. And who's oh, that going man. to? Who do I want to rally? I will give 10 temporary hit points to Anon. Oh! Hey, Anon, uh, Anon's outside the room. Oh, yeah, Anon, you can move yourself up to your movement speed into the room. But, uh, I, I mean, technically you don't, ha you don't have to go the into the room, but, uh, I will go ahead. I'm you need to be in the room. You need to be in the room. Okay, go, fine. Go I'll ahead. Be right. No, I'll be dude, right attack there. him from outside of the room. No. Hey, Don't do that. Gavin, can I say I drank a uh, yeah, hero's, heroism potion before the fight? Because I did want to do that. Heroism. Or uh, are you, you just sure? That, that, that's it. fine. That ends my turn. It's I'm right. done. That's it. Yeah. Alright. That's just 10 temporary hit points. I'll take it. <gasps> Alright, Lucas! Yeah. Alright, let's do this thing. Uh, I'm gonna come around right over here. Uh, 10, 15, 20 feet of movement. And I'm going to upcast. Um, so where is it, where is it? A lightning bolt at fourth level. Do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it to it. Boom, I'll hit both these guys. So let me roll the thing. My DC is now 20. That's a failure. That's a failure. Quality. Wait, an 18? Oh, that's right. An 18 does fail. My, my DC is 20 now, buddy. Quality. Okay. Uh, and what is it when you upcast it? Is it another d6? Yeah, it is one d6. Okay. So they both take that. Three and four take 37 points. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I will say I'm quickening that spell. <laughs> All right. So my question is, how did you guys have problems with this the first time? Because three's out. Um, th <laughs> three is 
three is done. Um, <laughs> I think we were like level five. Yes, there was. Uh, a no, big you difference. were like level seven, I think. Um, That's a big difference. We're almost so, double the levels. Yeah, so I guess you know, here and now, guys, you here biffed this fight royally we the first also time. Also went through like two rounds of combat before we came in here last time. We fought you a dragon. You fought the Yithgrimar before you came in here this time. Yeah, but you <laughs> a bitch. Hey, what, what level did you say we were supposed to be to fight that guy? Uh, I didn't I mean, say a level. I said what his challenge rating was. Considering we fought a Onyx dragon that one-taps two people right before we came in here last oh, time. we put work in on that thing. It was a gray well, dragon. Nesson didn't because I literally had time to cast one spell and then was knocked out. No. Well, you didn't much into your thing with that character, right. anyway. So Sorry. The rest of my turn. Sorry. Y'all want to just you want to reminisce? We can do that. We'll get an Sorry. hour. I'm yeah, gonna talk go. about it here too, guys. But we got stuff to do. I want to get in this well of world. Uh, What's Aaron, in go. there? I'll use my action to dodge. Wait, that was your bonus action? Yeah, click in the spell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> Ouch. So, my question is, would the thing happen now, or would it happen... Let's no, see, Molly's... Crap. Okay, no. Uh, Molly still gets to go. Yeah, Molly still gets to go. Alright, uh... Molly! Alright. Have we ever thought about what happens when we... Sorry, not bad. When we bathe regularly? I know. <laughs> Nothing's gonna protect this well of worlds. What if I dropped a bag of holding in a bag of holding in the portal? Well, you wouldn't have advantage, but you must anyway. Are you on reckless? I mean, I got a bag of holding if you want to try that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, want to try that. I got, I, I got, I got love that idea. I'm just telling you. <laughs> got a bag of holding. We can try that. <laughs> Better find a way of doing that from a distance. <laughs> yeah, it's called, it's called yes. string. That would be That's epic. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only time I get to play this week, thanks. My son's birthday's on Friday, so I've been forbade from playing. Ah. Uh, he won't remember. <laughs> it's okay, I got freaking, I got three games this week. Another turn. Oh, actually, on initiative count 20... So I changed their uh, their legendary action or their uh, their beam and the way it works because I thought it was a little bit overpowered that they all had a beam. So I made it something that happens on initiative count twenty. That one Layer one action. person in the room is going to be able to use their beam, and I'm going to choose to let damaged ancient guardian four fire a beam off. So uh, he is going to fire his beam. This way. So I need all four of those people to give me a dexterity no, saving no, throw. No, Didn't no, you say no, it had no, to be no, at no, least no, half no. of my character token? One second. One second. That's it's in half. your I space. Are, I am 30 feet up in the air. That's true. It would pass underneath you. I forgot about that. Okay. Okay. I don't dexterity know. saving throw? What kind of damage is it? Force. Oh, well, I'm resistant to force, so I get advantage on that. Well, you don't get advantage, but you take half damage. So if you okay succeed on it, oh. do I take quarter or do I take none? On a success, it would be quartered. Okay, yeah. let's so go ahead and do it. Dexterity saving throw. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Two? Eleven. So, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and use one of my meta magic points nine. to. You got nine. I'm gonna try and eleven. I'm gonna try and use one of my meta magic points to re-roll that. Oh, mine was Can nine. You Can you do that? Yeah. yeah. Um. What is it? Magical guidance. 
What is it? Molly, Mag- did you have to... <laughs> oh, I don't... I don't... Magical... That. Magical variants. Why not? It's in Tasha's. It's optional. Oof. So, okay, you're gonna have to give me a list of all the optional things that's Oof. in the source books that you do not run. How much damage do we take? Uh, I haven't rolled the damage yet. We're gonna need a Steady. compiled list of all this stuff. Steady okay. aim's not used, sadly. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't run aim, steady aim either. Tumbling. Yeah, Meta magic. <sighs> okay, so as far as damage goes, has everybody rolled? Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, actually, did Molly there... even get a hit by that? So that is 29 what points of force damage. The yeah. DC of the save was 16. So if you rolled a 15 oh. or lower, you take 29. If you rolled a 16 or higher, you... Or, it's, I'm sorry. Yeah, 15 or lower, 29. 16 or higher, 14. I right. took half of that. Yeah. So you Big, take 14. Big Pappy is going to use his second Indomitable, because that's what he gets now. So, and he gets no after he failed. So I'll okay. roll that. What was the DC? 16? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going to use Absorb Elements, so it's 14 points of damage, right? I don't think you can do that with Force damage. Yeah, for, Force isn't one of the Absorb Element options. All right. So how much was the damage? You said 26? 29. 29. 29. Points of Force damage. Did you add the um, uh, 14 damage, Anand? Yeah, I just added it now. I'm at 57 wounds now. How many wounds were you at before? 43? That's that's math, yeah. Okay, or... or Yeah, so... Uh, you actually are at 47 wounds, because that eats through your temporary hit points. Oh, I forgot about that. Yay! Yay! Thank you, old guy that I don't like. <laughs> what was the total for the damage? 20, 29. 29. 29. Yes. And now, Anand, you may have your turn. Well, these just don't seem like they're worth my full effort, so I'm going to give it a partial effort. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. That's the one. No. Lightning bolt. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Level five. All right. Dexterity saves. Yes. Let me get that music going again. And I, I queued this one up twice, but like three more times. The uh, they have to beat a seventeen. <laughs> I, I got I got something funny to show you. What? This is what uh, one of them... Oh, it's not even showing up. That's funny. Yeah, one of them rolled a zero. How's <laughs> even a uh, uh, I didn't know that was a negative name. on their dexterity. So, which... Which one was that? Okay, yeah, so... Uh, number four um, rolled a 13. And that is a critical against number one. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What? Is, how does critical work with you? What is it? Max damage? Uh, no. You, what you. Yeah. If you if you roll a nat one on a saving throw against any damaging effect, the damage is doubled, as if you had oh. rolled a nat twenty on an attack. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get that. So that is forty-one points of damage. Oh my god. So, so number one, what took takes eighty eighty-two? points of damage so its shield absolutely shatters um and you zap it with this lightning and it looks as though it is almost non-functional but it's still standing you feel like that it, you feel like its shield probably saved it what about it four oh four also takes 41, 41. and uh, four is done. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. As it, you fry it, and it just bursts into pieces. 
beautiful. Okay, you, you guys had trouble with this. <laughs> by, I just want to. Yeah. 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 We can do the side quest, now we're back on the main line, bitch. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Anyways, next person. Next, next person. Is, is that right. the end of your turn? I want to... Where is my tingy tingy? No I am going to, to drink a potion. Do I have a... I'm, I'm not going to use this up here. That would be a waste. I'll just drink a regular potion of healing. Uh, 2d4 pl plus 2. Okay. 6 points of healage. Alright. It is uh, the damaged Ancient Guardian 1's turn. So... I will be back. I've got to bathe the boys. Okay, that's fine. Um, so, in futility, granted these things don't think, so... You know, they don't really care. Kill them if you want. But it's going to uh, take five... F yeah, it's going to move forward five feet. And it's just going to try to punch you, uh, Orgrim. It's just going to try to give you a good old punch. Okay. Well, that's going to be a miss. Yep. But it's going to do it again. Okay. It's going to do it again. Actually, you know what? For its second attack, instead, it's just gonna send its fist flying in the direction of Anand. It's not even the, it's a oh my god! Like, and it missed. <laughs> it gets its shield back, and now Bon, you're up. So I'm gonna use a, a grip point. I'm gonna do dead eye accuracy. And I'm gonna say there's a flaming bullet in this big rifle of mine because I reloaded it before we came into this fight. Of so course. Let me get that ADV on. Oh boy! Nat twenty. Nat twenty. That's, uh, it's still a hit. It but... still hits. <laughs> Hold on. Let me see if I get a no. Uh, that was eleven. Okay, that's fine. So it takes. That damage. Yeah. Wow, wow, that's so stupid. That's not a lot of damage, but it's okay. It's its going shield to... shatters after that shot. That's fine. Uh, it's going to take uh, just in time to take my sneak attack damage. Oh. That's still a thing. Yeah, now it's four. Oh, I gotta find it first. <laughs> Where is that? Yeah, I know it's here somewhere. Uh, there it is. Um, is it within 30 feet of its other significant other? <laughs> yep. Uh, you absolutely dome it. It's more uh, than 40 feet. 50. Damn it. Okay. That's fine. Oh, looks like we got one little buddy over here. Yes. I'm going to bonus action reload. Um, I guess I didn't need the little d6 of fire damage. That's fine. Bonus action reload, and I'm just going to shoot this shot at him. Regular shot. I'm not going to. That still hits. And it's going to take that. <laughs> and that'll be the end of my turn. Okay. Good deal. So, Big Pappy, what you got? Oh, no, yeah. Oh, not yeah. And let's see how far he can actually get here. Yeah. I've already yeah it's about, about as far as he can go. Just wadding through the water, I guess. But that's Wait, okay. super. Well, I mean, he's 30 feet tall yeah. still. He's still 
Sorry. He's still a big boy. Still big boy. But that's alright. Because I don't think I've ever actually used it this way before. But he'll just spin the pan and bang it with the shield in such a way it just throws concussive force straight out at this thing. This is why it's called the boom pan. Incoming Molotov! Still hit some. Nice, okay. And he'll do it again. Oh, also, almost forgot. Is this, this and this? All right, and I have two more attacks. No. Nope. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, maybe I can finish it off. Bro, that would do it. Okay, Orgrim. Uh, show it what you got. Right. We're going to go with that. Yep. It's automatically going to take oh, an extra 1d8. And then it's going to take my normal damage. And then it's going to, even though it's going to be freaking immune to this, it still technically takes the poison damage. Oh, it's only resisted. That's always great. And then it's well, going to take... <laughs> it, it's immune. It takes zero damage from it. Then it's going to take the that. And then because I'm feeling feisty, I'm going to catch it on fire. Oh my god. Oh! Oh man! So... And... Now I'm gonna do my normal three attacks. Wait, I'm hasted. Three. I'm hasted. Ashes? Oh my god. <laughs> it's still alive. It's Maybe. Dead. It's already dead. <laughs> uh, as... <laughs> Wait, hold on. I have to roll at least the, at least the normal damage. <laughs> and because it's a construct. Oh, well, you know. Uh, it, it's dead. <laughs> you got it. You got it. You got that one. I, I literally just want to sit there and spin my freaking pike around, shove it straight through the middle of his body, and then just, like, swing it over my shoulder. Armor and all. <laughs> so you just kebobbed it and are holding it as a trophy. Oh yeah. Nice. It's mine. Overkill. Okay. Well. I um... have the strength to do that. <laughs> so you you're in the clear. Um <laughs> oh, I'm over here. Yeah. I'm gonna go yeah, walk yeah. in the middle of this. Yeah, oh my god. You just walk into the middle? I'm gonna walk over yep. here, like, straight on the edge of it. So, I'm, I'm gonna test this out, because I've been wanting to test this out for a hot minute. If y'all wouldn't mind, just let me at least give this a go first. Oh, of course. I'm, I don't care. I just want to see what's gonna happen. Whatever it may be. I'm gonna take out the ivory wand. I'm gonna pull it right on into the, the, the whole combination. So when you do this, you notice for a second, and this is the crazy part, that the these arcs of different colored mana that seem to be flowing into the world, for a second, the it appears as though just the entire world goes dark. As when you place this in the middle, all these different arcs of mana begin curving back around and being absorbed into the wand as the wand begins pulsing and pulsing some more and pulsing some more. As... For a second, the world doesn't have magic anymore. Just a moment. As you are draining all of it into this wand. And after the wand re reaches max capacity, you notice the wand, and at first this is very alarming, the wand shatters. As you see the fragments fly all around the room, as for a second you're like, could it not tolerate it? Until it magically repairs itself and comes back whole again. 
And you notice that the tip of the wand has these swirling vortexes, each of the six different colors of mana that continually swirl around it. I'll, I'll basically tell you what this is now. I'm going to send you a list. You've got a fully customizable wand. You can pick different spells from the different colors of mana. You've essentially opened up all of the colors of mana to yourself, and you can use it to customize this wand how you wish, with spells of various levels and different colors. And I'll nice. send you a list for each color, so you that way you. Your own Zimbak two, Zimbak two. Fuck that sword is gone. <laughs> oh, so what would have happened if I just walked in the middle of this bitch? You want to try? Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna walk in the middle of the bitch. So he steps into the middle of this thing and disappears. Nice. He, he went to the phlogiston. <laughs> <laughs> As you see yourself, Orgrim, standing or er, hovering in this void, and it's odd because you notice there's there's a pocket of air around you, and at the moment that you arrive, you can breathe, but it 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 gets thinner gradually over time. But you're it lasts long enough for you to take in the sights, and what you see is dismal, to say the least. Um, you see these different streams of mana, and suddenly the truth of this continent becomes clear to you. As you look at the direction of where the yellow mana is coming from, and see a world overcome with pure darkness... As you see the world where the black mana is coming from, and it's a world that is so bright that you can barely feast your eyes upon it. And the world where the red mana is coming from is nothing but a frigid wasteland. With the world where the where the white mana is coming from, you see nothing but... It, it's a world that might as well be on fire. Whereas the blue mana, where that is coming from, the world is an arid wasteland. It appears as though the... Each of these mana is coming from a different world that likely can no longer sustain life as a result. But you can clearly see what each world is lacking. And it is the exact color of mana that is coming from that world. Mm. We're still other stuff. So, the green mana points to water world. Uh, so the green mana is more nature-based magic, and as well as where that yeah. one comes from, you see a completely arid wasteland. I'm just gonna be curious, and I'm just gonna reach my hand through to see if I feel Ogrim. Uh, Ogrim, you feel, yeah, you feel a hand coming through this I'm portal. I'm gonna kind of tug it twice. I don't know what that means. One for come back, two for I go there? What? <laughs> You, you don't hear each other. You cannot just hear drag each other. Them. Just I'm a cool man. All right, I guess I go through. And you see this exact thing that I just described. And as well as you notice the same thing, that the phlogiston is weird, and physics don't really apply here. You pulled air through the pocket with you, so you are floating in this void. And you have a pocket of air that's surrounding you, but it gets thinner... Uh, it, it, it only takes a couple of minutes to do so, but... I'll, I'll just say bubble. You say bubble? Bubble. It's, it's my magic word. And then all of a sudden, I have a bubble pop over my head and I can breathe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've got, a, I've got a special cap that lets me be able to just breathe. Um, you also notice that you appear to be able to move through this realm based on thought. Um, essentially, your comprehension of what would constitute ground is ground. So if a rock floats close to you, that's big enough for you to stand on. If you believe that the gravity points in that direction, then suddenly you fall towards that rock. Otherwise, you can just kind of move wherever you think to go. So are these planets like way, way far and away? Or yeah, they... very far. Okay. Probably oh. millions of miles. So can you hear me now? Yeah, you can hear each other now. This is interesting. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling. We have been looking into this for a minute. Wow. Well, I don't think we're going to be able to do anything over here, so... Let's go back. Okay, okay so I have the astral bracelet. 
and it's like infused into my robotic arm. Right. What happens if I stick my hand in it? My my robotic arm. And just like to feel around. Do I feel either one of them? Because if I feel one of them, I'm snatching them out. Uh, I mean, you'd, arm? you'd be able to put a hand on their shoulder. Yeah, you see his arm. <laughs> I grab his arm and I grab freaking. Uh... <laughs> I just yank him Lucas. out. Lu yeah, I, I grab Lucas. Like, I'm not very strong, <laughs> but I have powerful build. So. Okay. And there's, it's not like there's any gravity where they came from, anyway. Um, does anything have, like, I'm trying to use my robotic arm just in case if I put my organic there, I don't lose the organic. But that, because my arm, my arm is magical, nothing happens to that, right? It appears that in some way or another that wand was designed to specifically react with this. Okay. Anything else, it's just a portal. Okay, so my arm doesn't explode or something? No. Okay. Yeah, it didn't explode. I could have fixed that, but it would have been a hard, a hard time to fix that. So you're back out. Well, I've been wanting to do that for a while. Glad I got that knocked off the bucket list. Only been wanting to do that for like a year and a half. <laughs> oh, I have a question. Who has a question? Yeah, I, I do. To me or to the group? To the you. Okay. Did my character see Aaron Black? He likes to fall. He likes to fall, fly through the flood just in randomly. I mean, the flood is such a large void. I'd say probably just, not. Yes or no? It's all yeah, pro probably not. Did I see the body of Raven? No, and R Raven's body would have never been there. Remember, he came back. Things have happened. To Raven's body. Who the fuck knows where that, that body is? Well, true, but <laughs> no. Okay. Alright, well, now that this is done, um, the next thing we can try and do is go to Shalcor's office and see if there's any other clues of what he's going to be up to. And then we can just um, rest up in town. I would try to see if I can... Is there any way I can take, like, one part of these... Um, things and uh uh put it like take it's like so take out you know how like the holy hand grenade is like two things of steel put together <laughs> i want to see if i can take two things of steel and like take some of the magic of energy and almost make a grenade like of fire like what, take out, of, out of these things <laughs> out of like, my shoulder uh, i haven't let it go yet oh, we can experiment yeah. we can experiment I Hello? told you you were gonna like you, me. You haven't you haven't really like taken these things apart yet and looked that into them. So you're welcome to investigate. Yeah, They're all dead. Sure. Yeah. True. Can you hear me? Hold on. I can hear yeah, you. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Bond. Yeah, they're, they're dead, Marte. Uh, you guys absolutely ran through them. Okay, like the, the fact that that was a a, sure we can a challenge for you at some point should be a testament to how strong you guys have gotten. Bond. I'm pleased. Sure between the two of us, we could make something really cool with this. I'll just keep the body. <laughs> As I'm now just gonna like strap it to my back like it's a backpack. I mean, th these things are bigger than you, but that's not. To it it's more of a matter of size than it is of weight. Th these I, things I, are certainly light enough for you to carry with all your strength, but that's cool. I'm still strapping it to my back. Yeah, I mean, it's dragging the ground. But no, you can do I, it. I'm gonna like fold up the legs and like tie the legs in, and then freaking like I'm, I'm making this like a backpack. Sure. <laughs> Until uh, I, I get mean... to my horse. <laughs> okay. And then I can just lay it across the horse. They can drag then. Well, my horse can drag it. <laughs> okay. Um. Why well, said we go? Check out Dick Fe Dick Face's uh, office and then rest in town. I'm hey, y'all want to blow out. this thing up? No, no. That would be such a good I, idea. I've got a bag of holding, and I have another bag of holding, and we could put them together in that thing. So this <laughs> looks like this is the main force or focus that gives all magic to this world. So considering you're mm -hmm. really magic users, I don't know if we want to cut off all magic to our world. 
Can you get? I'm just saying. I don't want to stop you. Know you. I love I'm you just right weighing the pros and cons. I'm not gonna yeah. express you. I just want you. Coming <laughs> off the of Good Girls on Netflix, so Lana can watch. I'm all about supporting you, man. You want to blow this world up? We're gonna blow it up. That's fine. I need a what? Turn your phone off of Netflix so Lana can watch Netflix. My phone's not on Netflix. As you're watching Good Girls, who would be doing that? No, it's, it's my <laughs> Good Girls. <laughs> it's, my, it's my girlfriend. I, feel, I was going to uh, say, it's a lot. He's girls. watching so Bad Girls. Be balloon, balloon uh, room. It might be on in there. Yeah, go check the balloon room. It might be on in there. Angel. Are y'all, in y'all there. share Netflix? Yeah. He said going to you. Both of y'all mute y'all's mics while y'all are having this sidebar conversation. What are you talking about? We take it away <laughs> from the mics. <laughs> they're, in, they're in different rooms. They have to use the mics to talk. <laughs> uh, they can walk. They have to. <laughs> Don't even talk <laughs> All right. So, what, my dad said stop being a, Tony, uh, stop being a smart-ass Tony. Okay, hey, it, man. Can I take the right. sun bomb apart and try to and like it would blow up I my think, face, wouldn't it? I think there's, there's always a chance. Here. Can yeah. I? We, we can I drink from one of the ley lines? We were here doing all this. Sure, go for it. Do it. Dangerous. Right. I'm gonna go ahead. Since I think we're pretty much gonna end it here. I just wanna touch it a little bit. <sighs> okay, give me a Constitution saving throw. <laughs> Which which I, line are you sticking your uh, your claw into your spike into? Whichever one senses like it's the one I would want to drink from. So, uh, yellow is light, red is fire, green is nature, purple is darkness, uh, blue is water and air, and uh, white is untempered. Wait, so oh, like he's dark. He, he's drinking with his spike. Yeah, darkness. Yeah. Okay, yeah, give me a constitution saving throw. Yeah, give me some of that darkness. Uh, that's a bright old six. All right, great. So you're going to take... <laughs> I honestly have no idea how many times I right-clicked. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you're going to take uh, 33 points of necrotic damage. Oh, it was worth it. <laughs> it, it was worth it. <laughs> Tell me I get something out of it for my bravery. Uh you're definitely not thirsty anymore. <laughs> I didn't peer into the dark and gain a new side form. Uh you so imagine uh, you you stuck a fork in the light switch is what you did. Um <laughs> Ernest got electrocuted in jail and got electrocution powers. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, you you do know what I'm talking. You you've seen that, right? Mm, you've not seen one of Ernest goes Ernest, to jail. I've Did seen Ernest say saves Christmas. I've seen Ernest goes Ernest. to jail. Bro, you really haven't seen this? I, I guess oh not. God, I think I'm I've seen a few. You are. <laughs> I, 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 I've, anyway, so <laughs> what are what are, are you guys? guys I know. Uh, I think um, <laughs> we're, we're going back to the, the university. We'll get out of here because there's nothing left really for us. So we're going. Uh, well, I'm gonna get to out of here, guys. I'm gonna go do, do my things. All right. Deuces, bro. Go get me. Uh, yeah, unless anybody else does anything else, I guess we're going to, uh, like over towards Shockwar's office. Okay. Yes. So you backtrack and you make your way back and you make your way through the waterfall. And luckily, sighing a sigh of relief as you exit, it seems as though the, the world isn't on fire. It seems as though Soria, while they have raised the drawbridge, it is still standing. Um,. However, you can get in easily enough. I mean, if you're friendly, they'll lower it back down. So you, a, as you approach, a guard notices you and begins to lower the drawbridge, and you make your way across. You are now in the city of Soria. However, um, you notice that in the overall tone of the city, um, nobody's really walking around. Nobody's really out and about. Everybody seems to be locked in their homes. All you see is the occasional musket-wielding guard. Maybe we should have brought out like more of the Yitzchakmar guy just for morale, just to like hang that like up on like 
up off the wall, have that whole body. Well, no, because it shrank. Otherwise, you can have that as basically like a warning sign. Of, don't don't fuck with us. Uh, but yeah, I guess we're going to college. Yeah. Okay. Um, Let's as you approach, shrink. as you approach, you notice that there does appear to be some activity at the uh, College of Zulu Makir. And as you approach the History and Anthropology Department, which I assume was your destination, yeah. um, you notice that you are not the first to have the idea to scour through this office. As there are probably half a dozen guards in this office, pretty much turning everything over. And you notice what appears to be a human of mixed descent. He looks like he's probably like a mix of Saurian and Falthanian. He looks like our, uh, our, our resident Marte here. Um, and he <laughs> he has his hair that appears to be in long dreadlocks and piercing blue eyes. And while he's wearing what looks to be very regal maroon colored robes. And you personally haven't met this person, but you knew you know exactly who this is. Anon. this is the dean of the entire school. His oh, what was his name? Let me look what his name was. Deathus Windsor. Uh, you were actually pretty close. It's Vincent Cromwell. I don't know how that's close, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> they both start with the same hard consonant, so. Okay. <laughs> but you notice that he is there, and he takes notice of you, and he I was going to say, he knows who I am. Yeah. And he says, Oh, Motley Crest, it is a... I'm glad that you are here as well to see that you are in the company of one of our esteemed alumni. He does a little bow to you. I'll return the gesture. Uh, I am Vincent Cromwell, Dean of the Zulu Makir College. I assume you are here for the same reason as us. Yeah, I imagine most of us are. We had the same thought process, so... Yes, we are all here for the same thing. Except for him. <laughs> Lucas will tell you Not this guy. <laughs> Duh. Jackon has no idea what's going on. He just Jackon hates knowledge. Guys. He'll fight something eventually. He's like, well, these unless you're going to fight some fight. books. That's okay. Yeah, fight whatever, man. Just tell him where to go. Who, who oh likes God, to yeah. fight? The Saurians? They're a, 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 citizen, they're a civilization of academics. What do you mean, fight? Check on us up here. I talked to the dean and I'm like, have y'all found anything of use? Unfortunately, no. Um, however, mm -hmm. our research does shed some light on his area of interest. Uh, obviously, with him, well, now being the former head of anthropology um he has a large number of texts concerning different forms of archaeology as well as ancient civilizations mostly pertaining to ancient elven civilization nice as well as a relic that has come to be known as the crystals of eternity which to my understanding i have a general knowledge of all of our schools here at this fine university um, is a name given to the original mana crystals that formed in the civilization of Invalion of the elves of old. He appears to be hunting these crystals. That would be my conjecture, at least. In one of these crystals, uh, yes. do I have Orgum? Or Orgum, show him. Yeah, Orgum pulls out the crystal. He goes over to a stack of books that unfortunately are no longer very organized because they've completely ransacked this office but quickly jostles through the stack pulls out a book flips through some pages i believe that is the very same it appears to be a small specimen but indeed that does appear to be a crystal of eternity we just pulled it out of a yikemar what is that <laughs> he has no idea what you're talking about one of those things I don't know fighting, if you... but 60 yeah. feet tall in a whole mess of trouble. It's a giant ass vol or vol. If this beast is as fearsome as you speak, 
I shudder to think what one would be like if he were to get his hands on a more powerful crystal. Well, any idea on how many and how much bigger these crystals get? So, there is no exact count for how many of these exist. In fact, many historical records indicate that they may have all been fragments of a whole crystal back in the civilization of Invalion that the elves of old utilized to fuel their magic. So that's to say, we don't really know how many of these are floating around. And that's to say, we don't really know exactly the full extent of how they can even be utilized. After all, much of the historical records around this civilization of Invalion unfortunately were lost during the Penance War 190 years ago. Should we some of our own experiments? Maybe Anand, would you like to try to see what this crystal can do? Um, I want to one roll Archon on it, and then depending on that, I know what I'm going to do. Okay. Let me Arcanize the Krizap out of it. I have a decent Arcana, I think. Uh, 21. Yeah, so that'll do it. Um, let's see. So, as far as what you can tell, this is an ancient repository of magical power, of raw, untapped magical power that, mm -hmm. in its composition, appears to be very similar to that of a ley line. If anything, you might even summarize. Granted, there's this isn't a direct comparison, but you would almost consider this to be like a portable ley line. Um, can I as far it? as sure, I mean you would think you can. However, the normal mana crystals that you use would probably have a small fraction of the magic that these contain. What this is is near limitless energy. Um there's no telling exactly how much magical technology that you could fuel with just a small piece of one of these crystals. Um, you can imagine exactly what they needed a massive one of these for and how much magic and how much they really relied on it to, ha to need that kind of power source. In fact, you know from, from the history of your people that they were looking to make something that was even more powerful than one of these. In fact, that experiment is what created the original Vold. Oh, the Sorcerer's Stone. Um, I say out loud, this needs to be kept away from the general populace. Some fool would try to use it to power a vehicle. <laughs> you know, I like the way you think, Anand. Why don't we do that? And, and, and that is how Bond invented warp speed. <laughs> yeah. That is how Bond invented yeah. nuclear fusion. Yeah, that's <laughs> 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 Honestly, bro, if I could take a nuclear bomb out of that thing, I would totally do it. You yes. tell me if I can right now. It, what check I have to do? Uh, know how to do that, and I will. And I will try to make one. The, we'll see later on. You'd have to examine Come it a on. bit more. Camp yes, three is nothing but a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> this is ours. This is ours. Nobody else is. We're keeping this one. So <laughs> we uh, hey. to the to the dean. So, have you found anything useful where he might have gone, or anywhere else that you think might this uh, a clue to help us out, so we can help you out? So, Shalcor has always been a rather paranoid individual. Um, frankly, I am not surprised that his office has been cleaned out so thoroughly. He left many of the books that he was reading, but all we've really been able to glean are what his intentions may be and his current area of interest. Um, as well as, I have been briefed on the contract that you did for him, and I've been thinking over it, after all. I heard about what happened down in Nifreon. It's a real tragedy, and thank you for everything that you've done in trying to avert this crisis. But what keeps puzzling me is, if he is so powerful... Why didn't he simply go kill that dragon himself? Surely he could have done so. 
And I think my answer to that question is that he is not going to put himself in harm's way if he does not have to, even if he believes himself up to the task. And I it would it would rise suspicion on how did that how did he just go there, one shot at Dragon, and then leave? But he could have hid what he did. He didn't wouldn't have had to have made that public. Hey, True. While they're talking, Dragon has already lost interest. Uh, can I just like start searching around for like a hidden wall or like a hidden what chest? Course, Dracon has lost interest. Something like something hiding, like a trap door or something. Yeah, give me an investigation like, check. Dope. More like crap con. I'm like super good at investigations. Never I, mind. I disagree. Seeing what he's yeah. doing, I'm just going to uh, uh. <laughs> my back. Flick the adventurer's wand, and I'll tell me if there's anything hidden in the area. <laughs> so, you notice that there's a pull switch that is the, sh the chandelier. Not as in, like, a switch where you just pull a string on the chandelier. The switch is the actual chandelier. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, if you don't mind, I'm gonna take a look at something here, and I'll mage hand up and pull on it, I guess. And when you do, a small portion, very small, I'd say probably that big, slides open as the rock just drops. And inside, you notice what appears ah, to be... I found it! <laughs> I knew there was something here! It's, it's all dragon! You notice what appears to be these three capsules, and they are empty, however, but you notice these scorch marks on the side. And when you hold up these capsules next to the actual eternity crystal that you're holding right now it absorbs the crystal into it as it fades out of existence for a second and is now encapsulated within this capsule this appears to be very ancient technology and you notice even a lot of the same symbols on this as you noticed in velrakaimon when you were there as if this is part of this ancient elven technology as well so the crystal is still corporeal. It phased out of existence for a second and then reappeared still whole within the inside of this capsule. But it is not inside this device. Yes. You can pop it open and take it out, but... Can, I, can we tell what the device is? Like, does it have a function? That's going to take the expertise of someone more mechanically minded. Oh, look at it. Uh, okay. I know. Well, no, I know somebody that would be good at this, but I don't know where they are. So, so let me think of how. What kind of check I'm going to have you make for this? Yeah. So, um, we're just going to make this a modified tinker tools check. So, give me a tinkering check, but use intelligence instead. I've got to use intelligence. Yes, because you're okay. trying to glean knowledge from this thing. Okay, so it'd be ability intelligence. Intelligence okay. add proficiency, yes. I yeah, because I am. I, no, that's damn right. okay. Add proficiency, okay. Yep. Oh, so, come on, give me something good. That's actually not bad. And then plus five for proficiency. Okay, so twenty three. Yeah, so you know exactly how you personally would use this. That appears to be some sort of way to turn this crystal into a sort of battery. To the point where you could actually extract the magic out of this thing that's normally completely locked within it. I let them know that. It, that it would be like a battery. That I would. That's how I'd use it. Was there anything else that came out? Any instructions or more to it than just the battery? Nope, just that. And you have three of them. One is now holding a crystal. Are they all, all three the same? They all look to be about the same, yes. And I will say that the crystal in this particular canister that it's in right now, it definitely looks like that canister could hold a larger crystal, much larger. But as of right now, it just appears to be just hovering in the center of it. So are they going to take this for research, or are they going to allow to have these? Are we going to have asked. to... Um, I mean, I'm not well, we're this. keeping a yeah, big I'm, crystal. I'm not trusting anybody with this stuff. Oh, I don't ask. Um, Sharkort had a secretary that helped her out, or helped him out. Is she still around? 
I'm trying to remember the secretary. Yeah, it was the secretary. She was the one that like took us to when he was paying us the reward. She was the one that took us to the the room with all the uh, stuff and whatnot. Huh? Would you care to remind me of her name? <laughs> um, I Aaron. forgot about the secretary. Uh, give me a sec. Or it was his assistant or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. We have these batteries. I wouldn't want them to fall into the wrong hands. Well, if your actions have... If nothing else, your actions have demonstrated that there's not much safer places that they could be. So you have my permission to take them. Surely. That's all we need um, so, Lucas, I would like to speak to you in person right. uh, later in private. Uh, so, so Shirley is Shalcor's assistant, working on her graduate under Shalcor, and he's her mentor. She's twenty-four, and she's trained in appraising historical items. Okay. Uh, yes, she is around. However, she is quite distraught as she. That, that, Looked up fine. to Shalcor I, I, a great deal. I didn't deal. really think she was going to have a whole lot of information considering the DM forgot she even existed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think she's going to be what really ties us all together. <laughs> and did he um, Did he have any other places that he would go? Maybe any other outlook? You know, he's had to have some way, some place in mind to go after all this went down. Well, he made frequent trips back and forth between here and Kalimlux. Um, he was involved in the refugee program, though we can all see how that turned out. Yes, yes. Um. I am also aware that he has had some contact with the High Vizier of the Vold Consortium. However, ever since... The High Vizier has come out condemning his actions. I personally do not believe that there is a direct connection between the two, but perhaps this may you may wish for that to be your next contact. He stays in Kalimlux. Everybody wanted to go to Kalimlux anyway, so I guess that the next on the destination list. Oh, by the way, you're the dean of this college, um, and you happen to have historical artifacts around. Is that right? This is correct. It would actually be very beneficial for us if you had a tuning fork to the plane of Hades. Oh my god. <laughs> we could probably wrap this whole thing up with Shalcor if you could give me that <laughs> tuning fork. Just, 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 just a tuning fork. Just send him to Hades. <laughs> he says, um, well, that wouldn't be... I mean, we do have a magical college within the College of Zula Makir. However, I do not believe we have any such tuning fork in our possession. <laughs> tuning forks to other planes of existence are quite rare. We have spare magical tuning forks, but they are currently not tuned to anything. If you would like them, you're welcome to them. Uh, I think that would be helpful for uh, one of my friends, Anod. If I was trying to find a tuning fork... To Hades. <laughs> Where do you think I might want to go? Well, thanks to uh, the yeah, Heroes Guild, going. recent connection to the... To the Planeswalker Guild, because out in a few months we can audition to be a part of them. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Don't you put me on a railroad path of narrative, Kevin. <laughs> Marte. What? Fork, but it's not anything. Oh, give me that fork. <laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot help you in that regard. You're welcome I, to the spare tuning. I bitch slap him in the no. I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> okay. We'll go get uh, uh, Lincoln, a couple like... tuning forks. Yeah, I want to yeah, grab I'm... several. Wait, I I kind of have like a theory thing, but I want to get to it later. With... Um, Boys, why don't we tune a fork to here? Go jump in the portal. Do we have an extra tuning fork? Holding hands, and then <laughs> tuning fork wherever we go. Do we? Do we have an extra tuning fork? 
Well, we can get some from here. That's uh, what we're saying. Yeah, there's yeah, a yeah. There's shovel here. Can okay? Can I go out and buy a tuning fork? He's about to give you like five of them. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. So I can have one. Sure, if the party gives you one. I'll just take one from somebody. Why do you Wh need Rumor one? gets handed one first, first. I'll take that one. What are you okay. going to do with it? I can plane shift. What? Yeah, I can plane shift. How? It's in my actual case. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, I'm going to hand the tuning fork to Lucas. And I'm going to say, hold on to that real tight. And I'm casting Banishment. What? That's yeah. genius. Yo, oh, that's man. genius. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh crap. That's not Wait, genius. So where do they go when you banish them? To their home To place. where they're originally from. So he's oh, casting oh, it on Lucas. Yeah. <laughs> that's quality. So that let me think about quality. this. One. Where do that's I go, what happens. Gavin? Where did he go? Where do I, I have go? to. I have to think about this one because, like, <laughs> oh. on the one hand, as a soul, you might have been in one particular plane. But on the other hand, as a corporeal form, you've only been alive here. Read the. I'm gonna have read to read the, the fine print on that. Yeah, um, because like when you're a fae, it sends you back to the fae wilds. What if he uses it on me? Because. I'm from like a different time. A different time, but from the same plane. <laughs> yep. But right. you, you go back to your plane. native plane. Your native plane. So let's look up the word native because it's specifically worded. Don't get it convoluted. People are going to get offended. That's okay. We don't have YouTube members. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that. We could very right, well. So have I'm going to have viewers. to think about how this goes because, like. Oh, this is a tough one. This is. Think about the purpose of the story and what information you know. This so, is the perfect opportunity for that to come into play. Don't, I know that. Don't make, don't throw it away. You'll never get to do this again. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. So, it's been on me, and goes, I'm gonna reappear in my father's nutsack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he goes back to the place of his birth, where his soul was born. If his soul was born over in the Hades, this is where he goes. Just because he so, inhabits Tony, a body. How how would you rule? That? So let's no, let's no, say no, hi. No 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 no. You're the DM. You gotta yeah, you got a pig. All right. So yeah. he was he was basically reincarnated in hell. Yes, and then was reincarnated again. We don't even hey. The whole point of this is you get to tell stuff that reveals the story. You don't just answer the no. fucking questions. He he doesn't get reincarnated to come to the material plane. He inhabits a body, correct? Play the narrative out. All right, don't all right. Questions. Here's what here's what we're gonna. So it works, but Lucas, you do not go to Hades. Of course, you, I wouldn't. I'm not from Hades. You go to where you're from. Okay. And it is very hostile. Uh, Atlanta? so without getting into an in yes, exactly. W without getting into like a combat scenario, would Lucas have a plan for how he's gonna be in hell for a minute and not die? Oh, I'll be fine. Orb, he get to that orb around him. Where am I in relation to major landmarks? Am I in the middle of battle? Am I by the River Styx? Am I by the the Bronze City? Uh, you, appear in in you appear in the Bronze City. You appear in the Bronze City. That's a siege. It's a siege capital. So I mean, they're just constantly putting in more siege implements in fighting the siege. It's, it's the blood war continues. Yeah. So I mean, you see some tieflings, uh, a few tieflings. They're not extremely common, but there are some mortals who live in hell. Uh, all in all, you just see a lot of lemures and various kinds of devils walking around the city streets and you just appear out of nowhere per the spell i'm incapacitated while this is happening so i guess i just kind of i are you happen yeah oh yeah 
so it's it's rather terrifying because as you're incapacitated and you can't move while still being aware of your surroundings uh you are definitely noticed and uh your immobile body is quickly grabbed and thrown into a cart as various devils begin carrying you off to what looks to be some kind of prison However, that doesn't last for very long, as suddenly you vanish from their grasp and come back absolutely smelling like brimstone. Alright, did you hear the tune? Please don't ever do that again, that was so much. <laughs> <laughs> Are old. Izzy attuned? <laughs> yeah. Uh, give me that tune and fork. <laughs> Granted... The Nine Hells is not Hades. I'm going to yeah. take it, and I'm keeping it. Hey. Let me... I got to make a note about it. Hold on. I got to so edit it. So specifically this. attuned to Avernus, the very top layer. Okay. Well, I um, say, Lucas, uh, now that that's over with, Let's go calm down. Yeah, thanks. Chat. I just a little PTSD. That's fine. What's up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's calm down and have a chat. So now that, and this is secretive. So I'm going where no one else is, or if the, one of the group wants to follow, that's fine. I don't care if they hear it. But no other, other than the group, does not hear this kind of area. Okay. I mean, there's various meeting quarters. I mean, it is a college. They have yeah. meetings. You can find an empty room. Okay. Well, not, so wh where's the other tuning fork I have for? Um, well, Nowhere. the group got five. One of them has now been used. So you still have four we... blank tuning forks. No, I thought I pre like Sigil. prior to that we had one already for this Sigil. play. Sigil. Oh, for oh. Sigil, yes. Yes. Yeah, we, we have one for that, and we also have one for Dispater, which is another so... level of hell. Like further down. Wait, tuning what? Yeah. Where did you get one for Dispater? Um, because that's... Um, I love... Yeah, it's it's a. Oh really? Okay. It's How a do you tune spell that? That Milo's wife uses spell to what? go back and forth to their mother. That that's that place. The mo the most recent one you just said. D I S. Just type yes. in D I S. That's how. D I S P A T E R. Okay, because I'm manually adding these. I'm not yeah. looking for oh. them anywhere. So, hey, is that all? Okay, Lucas. Now that Spader, Sigil. And Avernus. Avernus. Luke, uh, Bon, what's up? Lucas, now that the Well of Worlds is no longer protected by those guardians, should we let the college know that it's there? Because he obviously knows that the Well of Worlds is there, and it I feel like it needs to be protected some way, somehow. Yeah. Because we can't do it all the time. We are not able to. We've got way other things to do. So here's the only other thing about it, is it's not just the magic that comes through there. If you remember when Nestum was in there, like, he found that the true king is not who it's supposed to be, and a lot of that kind of tied into it. But then again, mm -hmm. if it comes out to a place of learning, that might be the best thing for it. I don't know. Yeah. I think you're Again, right. I think not... just leaving it unattended to is not the best choice. I don't know what the no. best answer is, but I think that's better than we've... nothing. Yeah, we've got to find some way, somehow, to keep it at least under wraps, and I think the school could do that. And protected. I mean, keep it under wraps and keep it under observation, sure, but again, it's a school. These are not guardians or fighters. These are scholars. Other than one particular college, which they do have a college, obviously, of magic, and they can fight, but, yeah. Have a Calabra! Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe that's uh, the better way to go. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. I wish I could talk to Miss Lily about this and find out what she would think about it. I'm sure she'd have the right answer, but... In any way you can send message to her? Uh... Maybe? Well, I think Ahmad has the ability to, but mm -hmm. I can't. Because this would see the forest again, which one yeah. of them might be. I mean, 
this could very well be a job that the witches could help out with in protecting this place. Maybe, I don't know, they usually don't get involved, but when you have the entire world's magic on the line... This would be something that they'd be very interested in. May already know of. It yeah. seems still weird that they wouldn't already know about it somehow, but I don't know. I think there's good reason to send word to them some way, somehow. Well, uh, we can have a nod. Just shoot a message right. to Lily and see how that goes. Let's yeah, just, yeah, just let's follow her. Why don't you just call her? <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> Yo, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Do I actually have I just sending? Just to your DMs, Lily. Uh, Indeed. I don't I text me. Did. <laughs> when did I have sending? I think you, you did had it whenever we sent something to uh, the other witch, uh, Bol Bolsha witch, or whatever her face is. Do what? Do that? Yeah. Is either you or somebody? I else? don't. I don't you see sending in my list. You you were able to do it one time. Uh, so, uh, the uh, what's your face? The witch that Gavin just hit at the beginning of this campaign. Archer. Was there some? Did I have yeah. a, a sending stone or? Oh man, you just said you can do it, so we had you send a message. Uh, let me look. I don't. Well then, I, I guess don't... we don't. Maybe I'll play around with my wand, and my wand will have sending on it. <laughs> yeah, sending. Who has it? Track, track on. Yeah, sending. Oh, okay. I, okay. I will Let's get back join with the group and hey, um, I wouldn't mind I'm sorry. shooting a message to my mentor to try and get some advice about all the stuff we found out there. What do you mind? Is are you able to give me a description, something of hers, or something along those lines yeah, for me to right send here. it? And now I look exactly like Miss Lily. Okay, what's the message? Oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> Come back. Um, are you familiar with the Well of Worlds? Right here. Yeah. It, it's unprotected currently. It's the world source of all magic. Right here. Yeah. I don't know how many words I put me at, but I think I... I hit that I sounds like it's under. Um, so the message is sent? Oh uh, no, hold on. <laughs> Can I get that drag on touch to it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I will send the message, and I will open it up as follows. This is Dracon, the Scorch Commander. Lucas has found the world of Well of Worlds. No guards. Reply now. <laughs> Not quite um, ahead of mind. <laughs> she says, um, Hi. Not sure I know you. I've read about this fabled well. Source of most magic in the world. That indeed is troubling. Plan for defense? Question mark. What is verbal? Did you say question mark? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Get it every time. So I will reply and just be like, her reply is, she ain't no shit. <laughs> she ain't no shit. Lily, and she's. I know. <laughs> she wants to know if you have a plan. Uh, I was kind of asking her for advice on the plan. She did not grant any. Did, did you ask for advice? It's also it was a very short message. <laughs> Still, worst person to send messages in the group. All right. What? Where are Can we? Can Lily again? send message to Lucas? 
You know what? Fine. Yeah, she knows the spell. So, uh, she's gonna send, now knowing your name, she's going to send you a message. And she says... Why not Lucas? Yeah, why not Lucas? Yeah! So, she's just gonna go ahead and talk to Lucas. Cut out the middleman. Um, so, she says... The forest is currently in the Taraski Desert, just east of... Callum Lux. No, the Taraski Desert is Alarath. Oh, I don't know. Everything um, about uh, Callum Lux here lately. That's, you you that's would where, know the witches um, very rarely go to Callum Lux. Okay. Or very rarely go to that entire continent of Welkalos. It's too dangerous. Um, oh, what What's the name... Angaria, in the in the Taraski Desert, just east of Angaria. That is the current location of the Wishes Forest. So she tells you, we could spare a few witches to aid in its defense. But as you know, we are neutral in most conflicts regarding this world. If the Well of Worlds were to fall, that would need to be... Words. Okay. Words. Okay. She's going to cast it again. <laughs> yeah. if, the, if the Well were to fall... If the well were to fall, that would indeed be disastrous, but our world does indeed have magic of its own. All right. Um, I think we're all... I think we're also going to inform the college dean so he'll make preparations okay she just, says well, that's just my response this, to her. this is wise as you know our numbers are few we cannot afford to send much however we will do what we can't that was 23 words does she send the email yes <laughs> nice. Nice. Alright. We'll do. Be safe. I miss you. An evening's tranquil. XO, XO, XO. Cast it again just to say that. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> he responds XO, 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 XO. Just kidding. She's my babes. Alright, so. Yeah, the uh, we'll get some reinforcements from uh, from the witches of Nightvine, but I guess we need to go and let the um, the, the college staff good. know so that they can make whatever preparations they can to assist. Sounds uh, good. Good yep. call on that bomb. Just looking out for the world, you know, my magic, my magical people. <laughs> um. So yeah. So do we want to RP the talk to the? I'm gonna just say because we've got five minutes, just so you know. Yeah, why don't we just unless there's something else that happens with that, we just pass the word along and then we go conk out. I would like to take a long rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could absolutely do so now. Can you rest us in the uh, thing? Combat tracker? Yes, I can. I mean, you're yeah. taking, you're kind of calling it early, but you've had a long day. You're, it's like 7 p.m., but it's fine. I would like to go by all the shops to see if there's a tuning fork that goes to Hades. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. 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 <laughs> we so will be looking for this my forever. bracelet, just, just to keep this up, my bracelet recharges 2d4 plus 2, 5, 6, 7. Uh, I have... Mm. Oh, I had right mm. at 7 charges. Nice. Hey, how come my... Uh, my fighter uh, things came back, but my rogue um, hit died, didn't come back. Hmm? Your hit died? I'm sp yeah, yeah, for like long rest, for short rest. You probably don't have it set for a daily in usage. Yeah, that is weird. Um, you probably yeah. don't have it set for daily. Because my fighter is back, but my yeah. Let me Looking try long powers. resting you again. That came back. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, that's weird. Oh, the reason why 
is you only get half your hit dice back on a long rest. <laughs> so let me go ahead and yeah, burn your off. rogue dice. Yeah, go ahead. Not wounded, it won't take it off. Just, it just got to put wounds on me. You yeah. It. It's, they're not... Yeah. Oh wait, no, that kills you. Let me, uh, yeah, let me do a little less than that. Gonna, yeah. 85 is my max. Mm-hmm. Jeez, how many hit dice did you use? I used all of them. How? We only took one short rest. No, we took two. We did another. We did two hours worth of rest, and we were able to use all of them. And I, for some reason, I only had two rogue hit dice left. I only had two at all, like in total. I, I will say one other thing while we're in college. Um, Big Pappy would have found somebody to teleport him back to uh, old girl. Yeah, easy enough. Yeah. People scry on her all the time. <laughs> she has an able to proof of detection. <laughs> yeah, you know, oh, she's a model. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Gavin, sometime this week, I do have to get with you. Okay. Sometime this week. About D and D. Okay. Yep. Specifically pertaining to what? Our games. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Well, yeah, we're done with this, right? Uh, yeah. Are you gonna shoot me in a message or something with this wand, Buzz? Yeah, so I, I still have some that I need to build. But you're gonna get a document that has a list of spells that you can pick from. Ooh, um, it's gonna that. be of hey, one through... Of first through sixth level, basically. And you can pick one of each color magic for each level spell. And the wand will have 1, 3, 6, 10, 15, 21 charges. Jeez. So, not on... Do y'all want to... Can we set up a game night to where we play something other than D&D? &D, like, some type of board game? Like, on, let's say, February 24th? Maybe. It's a Friday night. Well, like we can play. Yeah.